All right, here we go. Spring training. Stream number two. We played some streaming. Or we played some uh, spring training uh, yesterday. We'll play a little bit today. Won't get a chance to play again until probably next week. So I wanted to get some in right now. So we got the Cleveland Indians here, as you guys know, and, and we're I won't say we're struggling. We have a winning record. We're seven and six, but it, it is definitely going to be an interesting season because it's not like I stacked this team. I did the total opposite, man. Most of these guys are in the fifties and sixties attribute wise. So it's gonna be an interesting season. And we're playing on all star mode. Um because that, that's good for me. That's different. You know, I mean, we ain't gonna play no rookie or nothing like that. That'd be ridiculous. But a Hall of Fame, we wouldn't even win a game. So we got the uh, we got the settings everything set up. We got the team set up. Now we are on. Uh, we're gonna play this until the real season starts next week. We ain't gonna finish all these games. We'll get to probably week three there, probably game twelve or thirteen, something like that. We'll see how tonight goes. But at any rate, we started off. Check this out. Four. We won four to three over the Reds, and we lost to Seattle, and then we won two straight. San Diego and Oakland, but Arizona just. Freaking kicked our teeth in. They scored two touchdowns and a field goal on us. Beat us 17-2. to two. And then, then we went back and forth. Look, L, win. L, win. L, win. L, win. L, now it's our time to win. And we are playing the Reds again. We're, we're at the Reds here. We beat them 4-3 to three the very first game. They're a good team. Because we have every team has three to four legends from the 80s and 90s, and the Reds had some good legends in this game during that time. They got Barry Larkin from the 90s. They got Eric Davis from the 90s. They got Rob Dibble, uh, Paul O'Neill. So they, they got uh, they got four really good players there. Uh, so they'll they'll probably be a pretty good team over in the National League. All right, I think uh, the standings don't really matter. It doesn't. It, it's not, yeah, this don't really matter too much. Before we get started, though, I'm going to look real quick here. Rain is still number one. Breeze. This guy's not doing bad, man. This guy's just a nobody. Dorm. Look at it. It's fire, rookie, fire, rookie, fire, rookie. I don't know what that is. I guess he's on the coming up. Rube is the second highest rated player on the team. He's like, we've only got two 90s. Serrano and, and Rube Baker are the only two 90-plus rated players on the entire team. And really, Serrano, I don't even know why they gave him his high ranking because all he does is have high power. That is it. He don't have high anything else. All right, here we go. Mitchell Friedman. Never heard of him. Play next game at the Reds. Play the full game because there's no other way to do it. Home 99. That's a sweet uniform. I remember those. 75. We're going to give them 99s. And uh, we, we are at the Reds. We've been playing some minor league team, or stadiums just for fun in this mode. What is that? That one looks too much like a Major League ballpark. We'll play at Industry Center. Hey, Jimmy. How's it going, buddy? Willie leading us off. Tanaka Dorn. Pedro. I think we're going to run a standard. Oh, hold on here. Time out. Yeah, we're going to let Jake. We're going to let Jake... Uh, Play catcher. Rube had it yesterday. We, 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 here's the thing. When you're at a National League team, DH is off. I, I play old school rules. I don't like that DH for National League. That's, that's pussy baseball. So, yeah, I think we, we'll go ahead and we'll leave Jake Taylor in because Rube got the start at the Brewers last game. This will give him a... Willie Mace has been uh, slumpy. Well, you know what? He'll be fine. Why don't you just shut your mouth? Don't tell me what to do. Why don't, why don't you not talk to me? There we go. And I totally turned the music off, man. 
So last stream, when I turned it off, it was like ding, 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 ding. Even though I had the music all jukebox wise, you have to. I had to turn the volume off. I didn't realize that because they played them little songs in between stuff. The Warriors going up against the Cincinnati Reds. All right, let's go, Indians. Oh, we got some new. Hey, Jimmy, we got some new uh, emojis in there, man. And the emoji thing. Type the word van for vanilla, and then you should see an Indians. Like a home run. We even got a John Daly on there for the uh, golf streams. And uh, I, I'm, I'm still adding more. But you should see that Indians Wahoo. See if that. See if you can access that, Jimmy. That's a ball. Check. Check. Ah. One ball, one strike. Two and balls, two and one one. Strike. Come on, Willie, get on base. The wind of the pitch. And that's ball. off the inside edge. We might and walk. That's ball three. Oh, there's my, my oven's ready. Willie's on. Middle, Willie's on. No throw. He's they sit. First. See, they wanted me to take Billy. No, 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 no. You got to do it on the emojis. You got to click on the emoji thing, Jimmy. Now he's on base to possibly you know, where you where you put the emojis in. I love seeing what guys like this can do to disrupt the game once they get in a position to do so. Ichiro Tanaka. The next to hit takes ball one. It should just be in the emojis. You got to click that little smiley face. Oh, good. This guy pitches slow as all get out, don't he? Situations defensively where you can't try to do too much. You got to make sure that you feel the ball cleanly and get one out. Run around the blue. Strike in there. Willie's there. There we go, Willie. Good run. Chris's wheels were the difference maker on that play. Just got in there. Yeah, with StatCast's help, we see his top speed on this stolen base, and that's a big number for me, man. He really made his athleticism work for him on that one. The pitch. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. Runner hey, we, if we get really on to start games off, man, we're, we're really going to have a good, good fast start. Got him looking. That's a strikeout. I can't argue with that one, and clearly he was looking for something else. All right, Dorn. Look to you, ball. big guy. It's a great pitch to hit right there if you're looking for it, and kind of a gift at a two-strike count. No, nah, I didn't go. Hey, no way. Got to tip your cap. And no swing, says James. I'm a checking machine. Somebody's walking around in the outfield out there. I see him. There you go, Dorn. Get back. That sucked. There you go. There you go, Jimmy C. We got Joe. Yeah, we got Joe Boo. Matter of fact, put the time to bring in Joe Boo right now. Here's Serrano. Come on. Come on, Serrano. Oh, good pitch. Look at his lead I'm taking with Louie. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, he's going. Oh, good God! Safe. Ah, oh, he wasn't out. Willie, no. No score. No, man, he was not out. He was not out. He was not out. I, I, I dispute. How is he going to get him out? Right? I just, I'm just look. He's safe. He's freaking safe. Oh dang! This is this is gonna make me sick. What's happening? There we go. Hold on. Oh, dude, he's safe. He does not get his. This is why does it move so fast? I can't make it level with the ground. I can't like bring it down any further. Oh, maybe he was out. He brought his hand up, Willie. Keep your hand down, Willie. Look, he brings his hand up. No. That's a bull print. Now for Cincinnati, Matt McClain. The pitch. Just missed. Friedman. Wasted it. Six foot righty. 26 years old. Willie on two with Serrano up. 
and we get picked off. And there's the strike. If he doesn't get a knock right here, that pitch he just took is going to eat at him for a while. You might not see another pitch like that from a top-level guy like this. Not happy. Kicks and deals. And oh, you're out of there. The only adjustment he needs to make oh, is they didn't call that? You aim at the outside corner, that's that was pretty much a full swing. Perhaps look a little more down the middle, and you get right where you want. And that's down. A base hit. Man aboard on the leadoff single. That was pretty much a full swing. So digging in, Will Benson. That's in there. Is every, like, manager the same? I feel like everyone looks exactly the same. I was kind of bummed I couldn't make uh, Lou in, in the dugout. There we go. With his big old mustache, I couldn't make him. We got, oh, Paul O'Neill. Crap. He hit the crap out of the ball the first time we played him. I think he went three for four with two doubles. Just by reaching on an error, but some way you got to find a way to shorten up the swing and put the ball in play next time. Rudder takes off, pitch misses. I wasn't paying attention. I should have been. That's on me. Come on, Jake. You're better than that, buddy. Fastball in for a strike. Two and two. Over at second, one down. And that one. Uh oh. Uh oh. Going back on this one. And brings it in at the wall. Runner tags up. That was looking a little scary. And he moves up to third. Now two away. Paul O'Neill almost took it out. Who we got here? Barry Larkin, probably. Eric Davis. They got a great lineup. Eric Davis. Where's Larkin? Oh, Larkin didn't play today. Larkin had the day off. Nice. These guys have been around in the game for a long time, and they may not have the flash. That's a good thing. They put in freaking John McClain from Die Hard. And sometimes in front of the opponent, and you always seem to see a team like this. They come to the ballpark, they know how to get down to business, and they understand what the job is at hand. We got a change up. We do. Keep it low. Oh, oh. <laughs> fantastic pitch, though. Reyna, he's got it. All right. And that'll do it. Reds leave one, scoreless after one. I seen a video earlier today. This dude was making a pastrami sandwich. Uh, there's there's this like famous deli in New York. Thirty five dollars a sandwich. A sandwich. Now it looks crazy. It looks amazing, but thirty five dollars? You crazy? No money for that. There's a strike. Oh, how's it going, Natalie? Oh, look at the wind blowing Tim out hour out left. Oh, let's hit us a dinger here. It's Pedro. Come on. Oh, see, this is when you got to be throwing the Joe Boos up. We need Joe Boo in the chat. That was a terrible pitch. M knock a number off the freaking scoreboard. Wouldn't chase that time. Majority will when she gets here. She's good about that stuff. A wind in the pitch. Oh. Battling here as he fouls. You got me. I was fast. And he deals. And another ball. He's afraid of us. Staying alive. They they uh, that looked like it was gonna be a strike. Good pitch. Cutter. That was the first time I've seen the cutter, I believe. Well, yeah, that was the first cutter I've seen. Miss. He's going to have to just change speeds a little bit, try to move it around, create nope. just a little bit of Pedro walked. Outside, and that is ball four. That's a great at bat. He saw a lot of pitches and earned All right, Jake. So up next, Jake Taylor. Outfield playing very deep, not wanting anything no. over their heads. Close, but call the ball. ball. Okay. And that's ball one. That delivers outside. Larry Bullard making the calls behind the plate for us in this one. Larry's doing a good jam so far. Well reviewed by those we talked to around the league. 
Yeah, he's an umpire. He doesn't get a lot of looks from players. Maybe here Good pitch. Suck. I should have let that go he's for 3-0. I thought for sure that was going to drop right in the middle. And he did no such thing. And the righty deals. Fouls one off. Two and two. We, ha we helped him out. We got him out of this jam right here so far. Should have been swinging. And the right-hander deals. That one missed. These first two He's hitters. got control issues, this man here. Nick Martinez. Oh, running out. Right back to the mound. Could be an easy two. Quick feed to Dang it. One. On the first in time. Double play. Derek Metcalf. Now the play. Derek Metcalf. That one off the mark. Ball one. Are you seeing that pastrami sandwich, Jimmy? In New York? Dude, that looked amazing, though, didn't it? That looked like one of the greatest sandwiches I, I've seen. But $35, I ain't doing it. I would do it one time if I was there to, to try the sandwich. But, like, regulars? You got to be rich. You know what I mean? You got to have some serious money dropping 35 bucks on a sandwich. Two outs. Oh, good pitch. Yeah, that's you can't even eat dust, it'll kill you. Yeah, there's ball four. Four. Thank you, mate. One of the things about that has a walker here. Over at first base is Come on, Raina. Very aggressive secondary lead. So ball down the line or into the gap. Ooh. A two -hour RBI. Come on, Raina. Those are the best. That is if you are the offensive side of it. The 0-1. High fly ball lifted in the air right field. O'Neal under it and makes the play, and that's out number three. We'll go to the bottom of the... Okay. A double play killed us. We had two walks on any. Yeah, there's a break we got absolutely nothing out of it because we hit into a double play between them. Right side, Larson. Tosses the well, let me get my food in the oven. Yeah. Speaking of food... That is good. The pitch timer expired before he started his windup, so that's a ball. That must be incredibly frustrating for the pitcher, but this is all about creating more action and speeding up the game. And it's oh, working. dang, I forgot about that clock. Oh, I forgot about that clock. Down, base is empty. Oh, crap. Sends a rocket to right. I forgot He's about they added a time right. clock on there. I'll have to pause the yeah, game next time. Whoops. Spencer Steer. Oh, Just oh. missed. And there's a foul ball. Way out front for strike two. No chance. Got that new Mountain Dew fruit punch. It's actually called Point Break Punch. That was a great movie. Point Break was a great movie. Uh, do with a blast of natural and artificial tropical punch. Just came out today. It's got like some raspberry, some grape, some pineapple. Pretty good. I'm digging it. New inning getting started. Leading off, Mike Larson. Martinez back to work. And that's outside. Speaking of steakhouse, I'm going to one tomorrow as long as we can get in. But the Texas Roadhouse is going to try it again. I ain't had been there in years, but man, that uh, an hour, 45 minute wait. No, thank you. Swing and a miss, and that one missed by a ton. Being on that. And we'll see if we try it tomorrow. If not, oh well. Base hit for Larson. He's on fire. <laughs> Everything came together for him. Just kept it simple. Played pepper with the middle of the infield and took it back where it came from. And there's just no one there to knock it down. And now they've got some speed. Good bunt. So we'll see if they He's safe. Goes to second for one. Oh, what? Time at first. It's a fielder's choice. What? 
And stepping in is the speedy Willie Hayes. Hi, Willie. An infield single his first time. There's a strike. First good strike right there for him. He's going to have to do that consistently if he's going to give any length to his skipper. That's Ooh. Coming after Willie here. Oh, this guy is so comfortable hitting the first at bat. He's so two strikes, I reckon. If he's not ready to pull the trigger, he's not worried if he gets to an 0-2 count. Here you go. Willie's two for two. See, and they wanted me to take him out or move him. Nah, you don't do that. Lead runner holds it second with one gone. Good job, Willie. Ram into the game. They brought in a new pitcher already. It's just filthy man. New pitcher already. Spin rate's very high and it just breaks a ton. Now a chance for Ichiro Tanaka. That's in for a strike. No. Oh, he almost threw that to center field. Top of the third, no score. Check. Swings and misses. And it's all two. The Cincinnati bullpen has some movement. Connor Phillips loosening up for manager David Bell. Only one out here. Check. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. Here they were balls. And now here is number 24. He's over one. They don't do reservations here, Jimmy. Oh. Two outs. There you go, Dorn. All you can do is see what the wait time is ahead of time. Like, you can check it, and it'll say 30 minutes or 40 minutes or whatever, but you can't make a reservation here. Good hit, Dorn. All right, Pedro. Come on, bring Joe Boo up. I'm blaming the chat. Every time, every time I, I I don't see Joe Boo and Pedro's up and you don't hit a home run, it is your people's fault. I gave you Joe Boo. Use him. He reached out a walk his first time. Oh, I don't see. See, see what you all did. See what you people did. Pulls it down and he makes the catch. You could have dropped it. You could have spammed it three, four times and gave us Joe Boo power. Instead, we got no Joe Boo power and we did not even get the ball out of the infield. Here's the Reds catcher, Tyler Stevenson. See, this is how I know if you're paying attention or not. Just misses. Just misses. Terrible chat. Terrible people. The Failing in the Indians. We had bases loaded with Serrano up. And y'all didn't do a single thing about it. Just left him. Uh-oh. Charge it, Reyna. Charge it. Got him. One up, one down. Batting up. Next to hit, Number Graham two. Ashcraft. Swing and a pop up. Larson. All right, pitcher's up. One pitch out. That I like. Yeah, there's two away. All right, here's the guy that's playing in, in place of Barry Larkin right here, Matt McCain. Now at the plate, Matt McClain. Matt McClain. And he pumps it a strike. John McClain's son. Two is empty. Right through there for a strike. Quickly into an 0-2 count. Both pitches were down in the zone. I think you saw Oh, really? Because you'll have a tendency to chase. If you He's, oh, there. I thought I had him. I thought he was out. Right-hander kicks deals. Got him. And a swing and a miss. Down on strikes. Freeman's on. 2-3 inning. Reds down. Out of the fourth. Come on, Jake. The play. Jake Taylor. Pitch. Ooh. And that one fouled off. We got 10 mile an hour wind going out the left season. field. Come on. Six years old, and he was a sixth round draft pick back in 2019. Come on. The 01 swings through that one. She can live up in the zone all game if guys will chase it. That's just too much velocity. Hitters got to look down in the zone. Yeah. And here it comes. Down to the dirt, swing and a miss. This pitcher is pretty good. See, this, if this wasn't spring training, we would have got to deal with the other guys. They only took him out because it was spring training. And, and that sucks for us. Check. I know not to swing at that nonsense, and I do it anyway. I physically see it. 
and then my hand does things that it should not be doing. That misses, and that is ball one. Just off the inside edge. In the air, right field, O'Neill drifts towards it, and there's two away. At least I had a better pitch that time. Now, Jose Reina, he's old. What's Jose back here? The pitch. Ninety-five of that one. Reyna measures five feet ten inches, twenty-five years old. He's been on a terrific run at the plate, hitting over three fifty in his last ten. The other way, base hit, and that extends the inning. All right. I'm sure he feels really good about that one. Showed a willingness to try that too. pitch the opposite way. Didn't get jumpy. Didn't try to pull the ball. He let it get deep. Took the barrel right to it and then extended through the swing for the line drive base hit. Oh. On the line, and that lands in no man's land a foul ball. Two outs and they hold the runners on a lot on this game. We never did that. Rick and ready. And a foul ball. If you had two outs and two strikes like this, you play the position. You don't hold the runner on. What You don't care about the runner right now. He ain't even got that speed, really. Two outs. This to third, and that's just. Oh! I thought that was going to hit the bag. So close. That would have been such a good hit. Check. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And the inning is over. Ready to go, bottom four. And ready to hit now for Cincinnati, Will Benson. Swing and a line drive curling foul down the right side. Pitch misses there, and the count is one and one. And that's in for a strike. Oh. And there's one down. My strike out to set. Absolutely no Four. chance on that slider right there, and I don't mean to laugh, but that's a tough one. Well, that is not what you want to throw to Paul O'Neill. We got lucky. We do not want to throw that pitch to him ever again. Just off the outside corner. Now one and two. Got him. Strikeout number five, Mitchell Friedman. Some people have never heard of him. You know what? Good hitters are not going to compromise. He'll take that punch out, but ultimately stick with his plan and have more success. Barry Davis is all over the place. What's this? Two down, nobody on. Oh, give it to me. Mitchell not happy. I think, and on the mound. Well, that's a strikeout, and that'll do it for the inning. Impeccable command in that one. Three batters. Mitchell's on fire. Look at him dealing. Trick stuff out there on the on the mound now. Connor Phillips. Now at this point of the ball game, we're talking Mitchell's staying in. And in the little length out of this arm coming out of the bullpen. We'll see just how many outs he's able to give his skipper. Friedman in now takes ball one off the plate. So how was your day, Natalie? Righty delivers. And another ball. Got to throw a ball to the pitcher. Really hard at times for pitchers to throw the ball right down the middle. They're so used to working on the edges, but then you have a guy up like this. He can't hurt you. Just throw it down the middle. One down. Now, that's a tough play for the infielder ranging back into the outfield. There's part of a oh, why, why was your day sad? He stayed focused and made a nice catch right there. Back to the top of the lineup. And now here's a speed threat. Outfield. Ah! Hayes. Just a bit tardy oh, there. Not sure if he had a hard time picking it up out of the hand or if he was sitting off speed. Oh. And a curve is down and in. Well, he's having his best, best day so far. He's two for two. Wouldn't chase that time. One down, base is empty. Oh, good pitch. 
Well, he got challenged with a good fastball right there. Just couldn't catch up. Check. Swings and misses. Chase the fastball up the ladder for a strike. You said, but the weather is great. That's good. The weather ain't great here yet. It's still cold where I live. And the defense still cold. Sigh of relief because he puts pressure on everyone if he can put the ball in play. But that's how you do it. Keep him off balance. Get him out of there and deal with the next guy. Throws the first. And it's a. And we're back, ready to go for the last half of the inning. Now it's the second baseman, Jonathan India. In there. Thank teams. you, India. Strike one. That's a strike. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, man. He should be ringing these guys up. Kicks and fires. Stays alive. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. That wind's got it. That ball's carrying. And that is gone. And that gives him a lead. It's one nothing. The one thing the pitcher didn't want to happen just happened. That's not an easy one to stomach. Man. It's our turn to win. We lost the last game. So many times a sinker inside is a foul ball. Oh, look, that was a good pitch. That stays super inside. He just turned on that and got it. That was not a bad pitch. Next for Cincinnati, Jamer Candelario. Oh, he just got to delete it. You give up that leadoff home run, go back to work, focus on this next batter. Just off the outside. You ever answered why it was why it's sad? Was, you mean sad because of uh, the, the breakup sad or does something happen? Dang it! Two and two. And that's the first out. Nice recovery after giving up the homer. And now Spencer Steer. And first offering is fouled off. At the belt and fires. In there at the knees for a strike. strike. Boom! Dude, Freeman is on fire. That one pitch, India. And he did a great job. I can't even it's say Freeman Steve made a bad pitch. It was a good inside sinker. First pitch misses. Oh, I'm sorry. Right through there well, this is what I can tell you. And it's true. Not just for me or you, or, but for everybody. Time will make things better. You know, I had a 10-year breakup and a 6-year breakup. Fights that one away, still one and two. You can see he was trying to stay back. They say, the off-speed pitch, but just a little They say the for every, hold on. Two outs. Gone again. I can't remember what they said. Never mind. It's something like, a it's month a one, for ball every ball. year you were together, it takes to recover. So you'll have about like three months before you get right. It's something, hey, like, I think man, it's something like that. Like it's, it's like, six. it takes you about a month and there's no, this, you know, it's all just talk. But, you know, they say, the experts, that there's such a thing. That's a base hit. About a month for every year you were together. And I'm sorry he said bad things. Well, I think you're a nice person. Pedro person. From from the time I've got to know you here, guy with you seem tower pretty cool. power. You seem very sweet. Oh, you killed him! No! How's he okay? How's this man okay? Pedro just killed the pitcher, and he said, "Thoop," and made a play. Is he hurt? So you wonder if that might be a problem for him in terms of pushing off the rubber. Yeah, it's a great point. We didn't get no Joe. Jimmy, I'm going to need you to start putting Joe Boo in the chat when Pedro comes up. I think it's just going to sting for a while, but hopefully nothing more. Oh, it did. It got him right. They, they were accurate. It got him right on his back leg. Oh, good Lord. It blew his ball, ball sack out from the back. Oh. <laughs> oh, he felt a little tingle on his boys. Oh, we're all under. 
Oh, he jumps in. Wee! Well, that'll make you laugh right there. It's always funny to see somebody get hit in the junk, even though this stuff hurts like you wouldn't believe. Ba -ba oh! On the back of the balls. Here's the catcher, Jake Taylor. Come on, Jake. Come on, Jake. We got a runner in scoring position here. Fouled off. He was late. I don't know how this man's still pitching. Got a good eye there. Just missed with that backdoor breaking ball. If he gets a swing and miss or called strike, 0 2 Cal. Instead, it's 1 1. Look for him to go back to that pitch later in this at bat. That's hard hit on the line. Benson makes a nice run of catch. And he's up to third safely with two balls. All right. Run right on third. Jake almost got so over his head. Comes the right -hander, number 68. Now, still Come on, Metcalf. We got a runner on three. So this is a big opportunity for him to get some of now. Check. That was a good pitch. That was a strike, actually, regardless. We got Dorn on three. Come on. Two. On the ground. Fair ball. Tie game. What a hit. Metcalf. Tied it up in the six. See, this is where you can put that Indians Wahoo in there. Right now in the chat. See, I'm giving you all stuff to do. Look at that. That's a perfect hit. So digging in, Jose Reina. One for two. Perfect hit. They're holding him on again. And a pop-up, right side, foul territory. No. And he dropped it. So that's a foul ball, and he gets another chance at the play. He almost got there. He hit Pitch. off his glove. Oh! Base knock center field. And we ain't Throw running on Davis like the that. Lead runner at second. Good hit, Reyna. We're hitting the ball. This is a good. This is a good game so far for us. No matter what the outcome is, we are hitting the ball. Whoa! Ah. Uh. Oh, you know what movie I watched last night for the first time ever, I think? Great baseball movie. Kevin Costner, For the Love of the Game. Really good movie. You would like that one, Natalie. It's a love story. But it's got it's got a lot of good baseball in it, good baseball scenes, good baseball movie. But it's a really good movie. I really liked it. It came out in 1999. Back when Kevin Costner was making gold. That was a shot right there. Look at this. Look at this. Perfect. Back now as it'll be a pinch hitter to lead off. Barry Larkin. Big spot for him here. We're going to get the bush ready. The right-hander back to work. Just missed. Oh. And another ball. That looks pretty good to me. Rip to first. This one right there tells me he's seen the ball pretty well. There we go, Jimmy. But he made solid contact. Oh. We need to we need to see that authentic Italian cuisine. McLean up to the plate for the third time as he looks at one down low. Next offering is in for a strike. I got my like dinner in the oven in right now. With their timing today. I'm actually eating a Cajun type dish from Jimmy's area. But they've not been able to commit to one velocity. Uh, uh, oh yeah. Two gone now. It's well, it's a Cajun and brand. Tenth strikeout. That's I think that might be a record for us. I don't think we've ever had a, a, a pitcher get ten strikeouts. But then again, we haven't. They've not been playing full games yet either. 
It's spring training, so makes sense. In now for the Reds, Paul O'Neill. Come on, Freeman. It's all one. Keep it low. This guy is an Indian killer. This guy is an Indian killer. With the go-ahead run at first, here in the bottom of the six. Got him! Number 11. One hit, one left. 11 Ks and six innings. Mitchell Friedman. He's, he's like, ah! I think either that or he's very tired and yawned. He's coming out. That was his last inning right there. That was fantastic, though. Welcome back. We're in the seventh. We have a new pitcher on the mound. Christian Roa. All right, Jimmy Rhodes. Jimmy Rhodes. Come on, Jimmy. Jimmy Rhodes. They must be trying to save what they have left in terms of position players for later or something. And a pinch. No, I'm safe. Started after it. Appeal to first. And he held up. So why do you make a spaghetti omelet? You just put the spaghetti inside like bread or something? In the air to left center. Davis has it sized up. Paul's Easy in. out. And now the center fielder. Come on, Willie. One for two here. I mean, two for three. Excuse me. Two for three here. Fought off foul. Row. In his rookie season, he features a four seam fastball, a changeup, a slider. And he occasionally uses a curve. Nasty slider. Already chasing that nasty slider. If you're on the mound, you just want to expand the zone right now. Get a swing and miss and get oh, the Willie on a knee. Willie on a knee. One down, base is empty. Oh. And that one popped to short. And there's two away. Where's the, where's the dude and majority at, man? They're not even. Now back at Let's go. Not showing up today. So two down now, and here is Ichiro Tanaka. Over three with two strikeouts and a ground out. Oh, there we go. Ichiro way back there off the wall. Easy stand-up double. Easy stand-up double. Everything came together perfectly. Oh, I'm allergic to eggs. Solid swing from start to end. On time with everything. Look at that shot. You know, I wasn't allergic to eggs my whole life. I don't know if you told me, heard me talk about this before, Natalie. Until I was about 38. Ain't that weird? It just freaking doesn't make any sense to me. Late swing fouled off. All of a sudden, and I couldn't figure it out at first. Certain Two baked goods were making my like throat position. feel weird and get like all closed up and crap. And I couldn't figure it out. So only certain foods, and sometimes the same one wouldn't even do it twice. It was really weird. And then uh, I had baked some brownies, and it called for like a couple eggs, two eggs to bake some brownies, right? And I had two eggs left over. I bought like a little four thing. It's softly on the ground, left side. And so the next day or whatever it was, I'm like, yeah, let me get rid of these eggs. And I just scrambled some eggs. And I hadn't done that. I don't normally eat breakfast, and I certainly don't eat eggs. You know, really like that. And, and um, put in the bush. And um, I ate those eggs. And, I, dude, it was like, oh, it was really bad. It was, I'm like, oh, it's eggs. Because it, it almost made me choke. Like, I mean, my throat was like... It's a really weird feeling because, like, the the top of my mouth and the back of my throat feel really weird. It just feels odd, and my throat kind of feels like it's wanting to close up. You know what I mean? Like, I could always breathe. It wasn't a situation where I had to go to the hospital or anything. But, I, you know, it just it was a very odd allergic reaction to the eggs. And I'm like, how does that happen at, like, 38 out of nowhere? So It's so freaking weird. You know? on the ground to first. Takes it himself, and they get the leadoff hitter in the seventh. What's up, J-Dub? So they're making the move for a battle. Got a good game going here. Won the one in the seventh. Uh-oh. Swings and lines a base hit into left field. 
Playing some Indians baseball, baby. Didn't take long to get a result for that at bat. Anytime you rip a line drive the other way, you feel really good about what you did. At the you trusted your hands, you let the ball travel, and you took the barrel straight to it. That's great work right there. Next offering is in for a strike. One away. Oh. Go ahead, run, stands at first. Step off, throw it back on the base. Back standing. He's in there safely. Come on, Bush. The one, two. Lines oh, up. Lord. Pedro's there. No trouble oh, the barely, but he's there. Two way down. Spencer Steer, the next to hit. <gasps> Willie. On his horse. Sizes this one up. Corral. All right, that's all for seven. Tie game, 1-1. One, one. So one left for Cincinnati. Still tied, 1-1. One, one. How you doing today, J-Dub? So remaining in the game defensively, Luke Maley. He pitched it last half inning, but now he's in a position he's not familiar with. Oh, Joe Boo. Get Joe Boo in there. Come on, we need him. We need Joe Boo. Now it's the right fielder, Pedro Serrano. It's a ball. That's a ball. It's a ball. Come on, we need we need help from Joe Boo. Yeah, the righty deals. Okay, so far so good. And a count is two zero count. Come on, Pedro, give it a ride, baby. Oh, we're late. It's a new pitcher here. How fast was that? Ninety six. The wind of the pitch. Ah, come on, Pedro. Two two count. Got him swinging for the play. I think Joe Boo came in too late. Joe Boo did not help us. So coming into the game now on defense, Reese Hines. He's the new third baseman. Now playing third baseman. That one ripped, but foul. Hurt, yeah, hurt their pitchers so they can't bring him in. I'm a little late here, man. He's just 96 mile an hour fastball. Oh, good pitch. Woo. will hit next. That one fouled off. Well, that calf. We're running out of time here. It's a good pitch. That slurve is filthy. Compared to the 96 mile an hour fastball. No chance. No chance. Might as well be singing MC Hammer up there because I can't touch it. Here's the Reds catcher, Tyler Stevenson. To third. Dorn. And that's one away. We played a solid game today. Very solid game so far. Christian Encarnacion Strand. The next to hit for the Reds. There's a strike. Don't do that anymore, Bush. I said don't do that. Knock out there looking like Jerry Rice. You have to remind yourself it's about the process. He did everything right right there. Nothing to show for it. But in your mind, you have to convince yourself that it was a very good at bat. Strike one. That one finds the zone. And a count one and two. And out the lefty. Two and two. All right, well, we're going to the bottom of the eighth here, one on one. Or, I mean, excuse me, top of the ninth. That was Alexis Diaz. So digging in, Jose Reno. And a pitch. Swing and a miss. Why do I swing at that crap? Why do I swing at that crap? Lion Richardson. Loosening up for manager David Bell. And that one 
missing low. One ball, one strike. Ball to strike. Swing and a miss. That is a certain level where you have to commit to what you think you see. The recognition has dropped off here in the last. Check. Oh, they didn't even give me the check. Come on, Larson. They didn't even give me the check. Wouldn't chase that time. One ball. You get on base. You're the top of the ninth. Whoa. It's a little wild. Come in here a little wild. We've, we've won the only extra inning game so far. And that's in for a strike. Nasty 2 0 slider there for a strike. That tells you he's got a lot of confidence in that pitch. Popped up foul territory behind the plate. Makes the catch for the out. Good hard fastball up in the zone right there. They look really good coming in, but so hard to get on top of as a hitter. Pitch hitter coming on now in the pitcher spot. Raynell Delgado. He represents the go ahead run. In there for a strike. No. Oh, they called that a strike? No, it barely touched the zone. Barely touched it. I don't. My ball, my, I have an entire ball in there now, call. And a swing to miss. Talk about tying a guy up. That was ugly. And down on strikes. Why even check? Why even check the swing when they ain't going to give it to you? Welcome back as we have a pinch hitter to lead it off. Nick Martini. One big swing could end it. But I'm sure he's just looking to find a way on base. Get something started. New pitcher on now, Eli Morgan. They know that he can get. This looks like freaking Bryce Harper. Face a couple of lefties this inning. And that's outside. I don't like this guy's windup. Well, it's a bottom of the ninth. If they get a run here, game's over. I don't like this guy's windup. Dude, he takes 25 minutes to throw the ball. A little out front there as he swings through. Look at him. This is too slow. I need I need better pace. Towards first. Metcalf steps on the bag, and they get the leadoff man in the ninth. Uh-oh. And ready to hit now for Cincinnati, Paul O'Neill. And that's in there at the knees. O'Neill's 0 for 3. He was 3, like three for 4. First game. Comes up empty. Wow, he's confused. Ooh, my food's ready. Keep it low. Up the middle, Reina tosses the first, and that quickly two away. You want to be a great defense, you have to. One second, let me get my food. Gotta cool down now.
let that cool down and we'll finish this game out because the crimp is hot. <clears throat> delivered consistently it doesn't matter how many highlight reel plays you make if you can't execute the small stuff just like we saw jake freely in the box now no balls in a strike two down nobody on here the last half of inning number nine yeah if, if, if he makes the team we we got to change this pitching this is trash it takes too long it breaks my rhythm look at the look do 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 now we we got to get rid of that down the line and a foul ball. Trying to send this two wrongs. Goes down swinging for the strikeout. That's the third out, and we'll extra innings. Extra innings in this one. Offense They've only got four there. hits. We've got nine, and we can do crap. All right, come on, Willie. Willie's two for four. Come on, Willie. Here's the center fielder, Willie Hayes. Down the ball here, rolls foul. If we get Willie on here, we might be able to score. We're playing bunt on left side, though, unfortunately. Oh, good pitch. That one fouled off. Lifted in the air, right center field. O'Neal. Give him an easy out. It. Drops into the glove, and there's one down. Here's the left fielder, Ichiro Tanaka. Ichiro had a great double early. He crocked it. Fought off foul. Good, good fast. Down, base is empty. Gets the outside. What? That wow, that looked like that was dropping. It did not. It stayed right in the strike zone. Inside, almost got him. Right side. Not looking good in the tenth. Dorn, we need him on base right now. Dorn's two for four. Excellent piece of work. Come on, Dorn. Come on, baby. Oh. Swing and a ball. Towards left center field. Fraley should have it. Brings it in. And that is that. Here's the second baseman, Jose Barrero, taking his first at bat here in extra innings after coming in on defense. And a pitch. Oh, Just missed. Oh, oh really? Because no. Missed. And he takes one right on the black. Two and one now. On the ground, Larson. He's in there. I screwed up. That, that, that right there could be a game ender. There's a strike. That's a great take right there. Even though it's a strike, with the situation, oh. runner, that error could end the game. To keep the ball off the ground, and you swing at that pitch, most likely you roll into a double play. We got to get this by him. Winning run at first, nobody out, and we're in the last half of the yeah. Oh. Swing and a miss, struck him. All right, ground ball can end the inning. David Bell bringing on a pinch hitter, number forty-five. Number four, Big at bat here, so looking for a better matchup with the left-handed bat. Kicks and deals. Started to swing, yep. held up. Oh, bull crap. That's off the mark. Ball two. Breaking ball through there for a strike. Oh. Might be two. Tosses across the first. Couldn't get two, but we did get one. That's a good piece of hitting right there. The job was to move the runner up and give your team a chance to score the go-ahead run. That's exactly the go-ahead one. You mean the winning run, sir? Your teammates are happy with you after that at bat. Oh no! Serrano got to get it home. Oh, killed him! Serrano killed him. That would have lost the game. It was it was over right there. 
What an arm. We hit that accuracy perfectly. Look at that throw. Dude, that was, that was Vladimir Guerrero-like. Yo, yeah, pfft, easy out. Back now, and we're in extras. The new arm on the mound here. The Come on, Pedro. Lion Richardson. Hey, Philly. We, 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 he does he shit throw. That was beautiful. Bring, bring Joe Boo up in the chat. Do it, Jimmy. Come on. Come on. Got a good eye there. Top of 11. Come on, Pedro. Come on, Pedro. It just, it just went along right outside. Then the, the spring training's tough. Have you played on spring training, Philly? They bring in a new pitcher every inning, dude. You don't get you don't get to settle in. Nope. Try to get him to chase on the change up. Like like the, the starter goes the first three or four innings, and then every single inning is a new pitcher. And you're playing on the 40-man roster, not the 26. It's tough because every single inning you're you're facing somebody you ain't never seen before. The pitch. Oh, Pedro! Oh, he's safe. He's safe. Pedro killed it. Pedro killed it. Boom. <laughs> Dude, that was better than one of Willie's buns. All right, here we go. We got Jake coming up. Come on, Jake. And here's the catcher, Jake Taylor. Oh, Jake. I thought I was on that one. And this is why we've scored one run and we're in the 11th freaking inning. That pitch went a little bit lower than I thought. A little bit lower. That's kind of hard to see the ball. Like with the the way the sun is on that batter's eye right now, that ain't cool. I can't hardly see the ball now. It just started doing that this inning. The game's supposed to be over. And the pitch is outside. Good pitch. Good pitch. Dude, I'm not picking the ball up until halfway to the mat, to the plate. Two down, nobody on. Out to short. Sends it to first, and that is that. It's freaking John McLean. Christian Encarnacion Strand now at the plate. Over one so far. Back here in extras and a new pitcher on the mound. Bringing in the docks. We're gonna dock some. Tor How's Torres? He's not. Nah, he's too low. Look at our pitchers. Like this is realistic, man. We got fifties and sixties. A forty-eight. I didn't. I did not boost our team any way, shape, or form. Turns on the rubber and with that good live arm delivers out front with the swing, and that is strike one. We're out here pitching with like freaking 60 overalls. Slice the other way and foul. I hit square, we didn't have a square pitch. And that Willie's on his horse, he's got it. Pays. Sizing this one up makes the catch one down. So the batting order turns over. Matt McLean's been in all game, too. He's one for four. Check swing. Did he oh, hey, go? finally. They got them on one. They got me on a check swing like four times. And now it's even up. They ain't given check swings this game. Right through there for a this cat needs, this cat needs a changeup. Right here. He needs his changeup. The other way. Oh, what? How did he not catch that? He didn't do crap. Shut up. Oh, what? Hold on. Did he just plain old miss it? Because his glove was there.
Oh, I need you to do better. Look at the look. Dude, that's just bad in instincts. Reflexes are crap. You do oh, look at that. Look at it just goes right over the glove. It almost hit it. Like, you gotta make that play. You got to make that play. Cincinnati, Nick Martini. Oh, there we go. That's a DP. The throw to second, and that's two. Okay. Yeah, exactly you have to. You have to, Philly. If you do a team that is not already a standard team, you have to make everything. And you only get to make home and away. That's it. No alternatives, which is stupid. Oh, they're bringing in Rob Dibble. At this time? Come on, man. He didn't need to come in. Well, we ain't scoring this inning. Dude's throw is like 196 mile an hour. The wine of the pitch. That misses, and it's one to know. Bringing in Rob Dibble in the 12th. Good pitch, slider. Yeah, if you if you do, like if I was the if I was the pick of the Cleveland Guardians, I would have got all their uniform choices. But since I wanted to make the Indians, you have to start from scratch, and you get to make a home and away. That's it. It's stupid. And you're not allowed to use any other teams. You're not allowed. Because I would have went ahead and used their 1989 Cleveland's uniform and just put the logo on the hat. You can't do that. You're not allowed. The one two. Dude, did he even throw a fastball? I'm pretty sure he threw like five straight sliders on me. There's a fastball at 100. Dude, he can throw that pitch every single time and I'll strike out because I am never going to go up there and get that. I got to play for the slider now. And there it was, and it slid right outside. Larson. Dibble's nasty. Next pitch, not close up high. That's where I was at, too. I think I rose up a little bit. Yeah, a little bit. A little back to the middle there. We're going deep in the count here with Dibble. That's nice. Don't so strike me out here in a minute. Don't worry. <laughs> oh, yeah, told you. He can live there. Well, the good news, he'll. that's it. Like, he'll be out this inning. Let's, uh, let's bring in Tomlinson. Come in at a, 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 a whopping 150. Tell you what, that's huge. It can change the ball game. Whoa! He hit him with a 101 mile an hour fastball? Yeah, bring the bat with you. Hit him. All right, Willie. Come on, Willie. So two down, and now the center fielder, Willie. Come on, Willie. Run it now, Willie. Makes the grab, and that's the third out. Ten hits, one run. And the wind is blowing out 10 mile an hour. That's what sucks. And we got to bring in Carver. Back here in extras and a new pitcher on the mound at the bottom half of the inning. Ross Carver. All right. Oh, I can't believe they kept. Paul O'Neill is the only player they've kept in this whole game. He's like the only one. And here he comes. And that's in the dirt. I'm afraid of Paul O'Neill. He's 0 for 4 this game. But the first game we played him, he was three for four with two doubles and a home run. I'm like, I can't stand this lineup. There are some base hits, so very important to be patient. Yep. The pitcher walk you, if you will. Sizzling oh. on its way to the outfield, and the winning run is aboard. It's been a rough one for him so far at the plate, but that'll help. Just found a way to slap that ball down the third baseline. That's really excellent back control, and it kind of goes back to all those drills you see hitters do off the tee where it's placed in different spots. And I can't get the ball to second. Shoot. 
That was a good hit. Because there's no way I could get that ball up the second time. So digging in, Jose Barrero. That clips a corner. Winning run at second with one away. And here in nice. All right, we need to slow it down on him here. Slow it down on him. He came out of his mechanics there. Typically likes to shoot the ball the other way. But that time, a little anxious. In the box now. He should have done something with that. That is not where I wanted it. I'll tell you that much. That one way outside. And a count even one and one. Winning run and scoring position with two away. Next pitch is outside. We've only had one other. Jake Sykes, settle down. He said, that's it, that's you. There you go. All right. Our last extra inning game we won went to 13. We're going into the 13th. All right, Tanaka, come on, boy. Sweeping curve, 12-6 curve. Circle change. He's going to play down in the zone here. Well, maybe not on fastballs. Everything else should drop. Oh, God. At least I can see now. See how the sun's off the batter's eye? That sucked. The pitch. He's staying high on me. He's giving me high fastballs. Look at that. Four fastballs. You got three other pitches, dude. I knew it. I knew it. All right. Come on, Doran. Get Joe Boo ready. He's a guy that covers both sides of the Where's the majority of About as well as anyone in the sport. How difficult is that to Come on, Dorn. Do? I'll just look at the back of my bubblegum card. You'll see how hard There you go, Dorn. Perfect. Great, man. They have the ability to look out there, but also All right. be able to turn on the inside. Pedro's got an opportunity. Those can really sharpen things on the outer half. Those are the ones that become a lead. Waste no time there. That was a good shot. First pitch, too. Right back up the middle. That's a great example of it right there. Got the barrel in the hitting zone early. We're going to leave this. Time swing and came away with a beautiful line drive in the center field. Serrano in the box now. Good pitch. Good pitch. I couldn't have got down there in time. Oh, good pitch. He went high on me. He's gone high and low, so now I have no idea what's going to happen. Under this Good job, Jimmy. Joe Boo failed us. Joe Boo failed us again. It's only spring training, but Joe Boo better get uh, Joe Boo better step his game up here. Comes up to here. Jake Taylor. Check. That was a good pitch. That's the first one of that he's thrown. I thought it was coming like right there. Instead, he hit me with it. That's what I thought he was throwing the last pitch. Dang it. That's exactly what I thought he was doing, and, and now I'm all mixed up in my head. Three straight circle? Or sweeping, I mean. I need to eat my food. There you go, Jake. Come on. Come on. Let's end this. Feels amazing getting a job done when the team needs you to come through. It's hey, Metcalf's hit the most home runs in spring trains. Down to go ahead runs in scoring position, so big opportunity for them to check. I don't I thought he was throwing that so circle that uh, sweep again, man. I thought for sure he was that sweep was coming down. Just a fastball outside. Right through there for a strike. Good pitch. Good pitch, man. Good pitch. Maybe choke up on the bat a little bit, spread out those feet, whatever it takes. And we ground it out. Dude, we got 12 or 13 hits. What's happening? 12. 12 hits. We can't do crap.
Andrew Abbott getting ready to hit. Why to kick the pitch? Swing and a miss. Going on. That one missed. We've left 11 base runners on. Pretty sure. And a count one and two. And the right hander deals. That ball is foul, and the pressure is. I mean, it's only in spring training. At this point, I kind of want him to just hit a home right run and end this. Swing and a miss. And he's down on strikes. And one gone. Man, that slider bearing in on your hands like that. It's just so tough. I look up on where I was going to do the booty crack. It just can eat you off, saw you off. Tell you what, hitters have nightmares about that pitch. Perfectly executed out there on the mound. Like, seriously, I'm not trying to, like, throw the game or anything, but, like, I'm throwing strikes here. Our player is going to get all tired and crap. Base is empty one away, and we're deep into extras. Deep in your mind. To the right side. He'll do it himself. And that quickly, two away. They didn't recognize changing earlier enough. Got out in front a little bit, rolled over on it, and beat it into the ground. Up the middle. Hello, 14. This is the first, and 13 frames, not enough. We're on to number 14. Back now, and we're in extras. A new arm on the mound here in the top half of the inning. Frankie Montas. Here comes a pinch. Rain in the box now. Take strike one. Wasn't supposed to be a night game, but... Kind of turning that way. Check. Dude, they don't have a bullpen left. They don't have a bullpen left. This is it. This is our last pitcher, I think. Got him. And that's the first out. Why even have the check? So digging in, Mike Larson. This is a guy you got to keep an eye on when he digs in. Definitely been known to drop a drag bunt from time to time. And he's pretty good at it, Chris. There you go. This one's into the outfield. Could be extra bases. Now it rolls down into the corner. And he's into second base with one away as the Come on. Come on. Run. No waiting around right there. He was ready to swing it on the first pitch. Rube. We're br bringing in Rube right now. Come on, Rube. Come on, Rube. Slicing foul. One thing that was great about the approach is head was down all the way through the pitch. And that's how you do it. There you go, Rube. Pretty deep out to center field. Ah. Squeezes it. Runner tags Dang it. In second, and he moves up to third. Now two away. We need a hit. Willie. Willie has got to come through right here. Willie Hayes, the next to hit. Come on, Willie. Just get a hit, please. Please. Swings through that one. I didn't want to swing. I was going to... Meanwhile, activity in the bullpen. Right, they are warming somebody up. I thought they were done. Slider misses outside. Throw a wild pitch. Let me run in and score. And another ball. Last couple of pitches, breaking balls away. I think he's going to have to come firm inside to be able to open up that location if he wants to go back there later in this count. Great pitch. Two down. Go ahead, run and score in position. No! I knew it! Dang it! I knew not to swing at that. A lot of adrenaline, we can see it right there. And sometimes you just got to let it out. That's an outstanding job of taking that, executing, and getting out of a tough inning. I didn't want to swing, but then I did. Welcome back, and here comes the closer, Jesse Dolph. McLean in the box now, take strike one. Didn't want to put him in now, but kind of got to. Ball. 
He's actually no, he's a he's a good pitcher. The pitch. Ninety nine miles per hour to finish him off. Well, we saw a solid effort out of their starter and the plan is following suit. Just a good day as a manager or as a pitching coach when you can hand the ball out to multiple arms and get stability from all of their performances. What's crazy is the wind is blowing out to 10 mile an hour to left field this whole game, and we can't do crap. It's crazy. That cray, Jimmy. That cray. Anytime you can punch out the top two guys in a lineup to start an inning, got to be feeling pretty good out there on the mound because when you think of just having a distraction, table setters on the base paths, and all of a sudden you're dealing with the number three hitter, any distraction can cause you to serve. Ain't nobody left in the stands. They all had to go home. They got work in the morning. It's a two or three run homer. Two outs. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. We got like three, four hundred people left. <laughs> Old two now. Hit on the ground to the right side. Metcalf takes it himself, and the Reds go one, two, three. Back now, we're in extras, and there's a new arm on the mound, Hunter Green. It's about to storm on us. Now we got a storm of brewing. Tanaka. The pitch. And that one hit to first. Encarnacion Strand takes it to the bag. One up, one down. So up next, number 24. I was right on that, too, just a little late. Swing and miss as he was late. I think he was sitting. It was a strike, but... There. And he takes one right on the black. And a count is 0-2. The pitch. Spoils the two-strike pitch, and he'll see another. One down, base is empty. And a foul ball, he stays alive. Really good pitch right there. It would struck me out on that. He's throwing four strikes. Right-hander kicks, deals. No, and takes low ball. for ball one. And that's awfully close. I don't know how you take that. He's seeing the ball out of the pitcher's hand really well right now. Good pitch. And miss struck him out. Well, that's always the key to effective pitching is getting ahead. He drove one for five. A pitcher really allows you to start expanding the zone. Hitters become defensive, and all of a sudden that plate starts Check. to get really wide. Didn't do it. Swinging too hard. Because of the pressure, you end up hot fastball. Eat me alive. Before you recognize what it is, and that's what leads to the strikeout. You think he's going to do that again? Nobody on. You're deep into extra innings. Nope. through that, and it's a strikeout. And that is What's that. up, dude? Here's the center fielder, Jake Fraley, and a pitch. And fouled off. <clears throat> Left hand hitter waits. On the ground to first. He gets to him on the slide. Takes it himself, and he got him. Nice We're about to play two games in one here. Now it's the no, second baseman, Jose Pereira. Okay. That's in there. And that's strike one. Fall off foul. Base is empty one away. You're in extra innings. This one in the air. Brings it in. Out number two. So two down now. And here is Reese Hines. That clips the zone. Strike one. Talk about your pitcher, though. And a swing and a miss. He finds himself in a tough situation early. Just kind of trying to simplify it. Take it. Swing and a miss. Freaking one to one going into the sixth. That's the third out. And we're headed to extras. And we're in extras. A new arm on the mound here in the top half of the inning. Nick Lodolo. Jake Taylor. It literally got night. We started at like 1 o'clock. Oh, good pitch, man. You got to drop this low in that. <laughs> I can't hit them high fastballs, son. I ain't set up up there. Very difficult to catch up to, especially with that velocity. 
the 0 2. Keeps the at bat going with a foul ball. And now the lefty. And that one almost hit him. Whoa! Almost got him there. Straightened him up a little bit. What do you mean, straighten him up? 2 2 now. Chase that time. Definitely got the hitter conscious of the pitch inside. Really think the outer half is open. Derek Metcalf waiting for a turn at the plate. Foul ball, and it remains a full count. The lefty fires. Swing and a ball lifted left field. Martini in position. Makes the catch, and there's one gone. Looking like Bryce Harper out there. You're not Bryce Harper, dude. You're freaking some scrub on the Reds. Just missed. One out, base is empty. Hallelujah! Dude, that was that was a freaking line drive. That didn't even get any air. Absolutely crushed that one. Yeah, he killed it, but look at that line drive, dude. I guess a little bit, but that was a shot. Thank you, Metcalf. He leads the team in home runs. It's about time. Digging in, Jose Reina. That's outside. Ball one. I swear if we give this lead up, we let him tie it or something stupid. Oh, good pitch. And he works in a sinker. One down, base is empty. A good pitch again. They have nobody warming up here either. I think they're just giving up at this point. They're like, we need to end this too. They they, they want to go home and get their AI dinner. The wide of the pitch. That misses. And it's two and two. One out, base is empty, and a run in and here in extra innings. Ground ball the middle. That's a <coughs> let's get some more runs. Let's let's secure this dub. Let's secure it. Having himself a really nice game at the plate. Timing on the swing was good. Able to shoot the ball up the middle. Didn't square it up as much as he I didn't even take a lead, dude. I didn't even take That's a lead. A good what are you doing? Paying off. And here is Mike Larson. Now this is in the air. Oh, that's an out. Nice grab on the run. Come down. 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 Now a move being made for a pinch hitter. William Marks. Runner on first with two blocks. Come on, Markley. And that one fouled off. Players are gonna be tired. Two outs. How dark it got! It really did change, like real life. That's pretty cool. Oh, oh, dang! We just hit Rube or whoever that was warming up over there. And a pitch. Oh, baby! That was that hung. What was that? He threw another freaking slur. I killed that. Check. Goes. All right, it's okay. We got the run. One scores in the inning coming on this solo home run. And it's now a 2-1 ball game. 15 hits and two runs is a freaking tragedy. Freaking Randy Labou. So it was like, this game's taking so long. People who were tired when this game started are like replenished again because <laughs> it's like technically the next day for them. It's way past our bedtime. Let me finish this up. 
There you go, dude. Now you're using the stuff. I seen your message come in, dude. I didn't get a chance to read it because I was doing this. Well, something about tomorrow. I'll be. I I got playing Friday and Saturday both. I think. During the day, I may be available a little bit, but I don't know if I'll be able to stream or anything. All right, here we go. 48 overall, the boot. Come on. I can't imagine any save is an easy one. You're holding a small lead on the scoreboard, and you know those hitters are going to give you the best at bats they can. So it's always high scores. 48 overall, the boot. He looks at ball one. Swing and a miss. And a count one and one. Right through there for a strike. Get him on the curveball. <laughs> Two more. Come on. Here's the catcher, Tyler Stevenson. Oh God, dude! I don't like his windup. This is—he's a 48 for a reason. Good God! Swing and a miss. Strike one. One ball. One strike. Swings. Yeah, Cy Young, not in your future. Trying to close out a one-run lead. Yeah, the home team trying to pull it out. Fouls it off. He—he hung that slider, boy. He could have—he could have did something with that. Come on, finish this out. Come on. No change up. And a pitch. Fights it off. You'll see another. Dorn. There's two. Oh, we might actually do it. I'm about to go 2 0 in extra innings if we can win this. Usually a lot of damage done with that pitch. A hard grounder, but he wanted to get that ball in the air. Maybe drive it in. This guy's 0 for 3. Encarnacion Strand. Just we know why. Oh, make the play. LeBeau. No, he made a bad throw. No. <laughs> and a nice job there to keep it from getting away. One no. From this game being over, but an infield single keeps them alive. They're still breathing, and maybe this provides that last minute spark. He said, "Ole!" Freaking error. It's because he's a 48 overall, and he's got no fielding so ability. To the top of the Reds lineup, Matt McClain, the next to hit for the Reds. He I swear. You know what, dude? Pitch. Either strike out or hit a home run. Don't tie it up. Into the gaps, give them an opportunity with two outs to score that run from first. Yep, don't don't hit a home run. You can hit a. I mean, uh, don't 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 get a base hit or nothing. You can hit a home run, or you can strike out. Either one will be fine. I don't really care. Either way, it, it, the game needs to end. Oh Lord, he did exactly what he going to tie the game up. This is some bull crap. He will score and the Reds tie it up. It's 2-2. Two -two. Such great concentration. Everybody on their feet, knowing that you could come through with a good swing. And there he doesn't try Girl, to I couldn't even hit him. Why didn't let me hit him? Stands in here, takes ball one low. And fouled off. This is some tragic stuff. That one's in there. This is about to be the longest game in baseball history, Jimmy. Gets a piece and stays alive. In the air on the infield, Taylor moving under it. Brings it in for the third out. But Insane. 
scoring on this RBI double. And we're deadlocked now at two apiece. Back to the top of the order now. And now the center fielder, Willie Hayes. Welcome back. Pinch hitter getting set to lead off here in extras. Craig Winters. And this is a big at bat coming, boo. Definitely a little bad pressure from here. And that's My guys are going to get really hit. tired. Not going to be able to play next game, so we, I'm, I'm taking them out when they come up. One of the hardest things to do in the game to stay mentally. Hockey's not going to stay in there. Big opportunity, and he came through for his club right there. Ooh, there we go. There we go. Throws to second for one. Dang it! Unfortunately, prevented him from being able to get two. But a good job to stay with it and make sure you got at least one. Here's the third baseman, number 24. So now a pinch hitter, Khalil Watson. A critical at bat in this game for him. Bounce to the right. It's through for him. Two pinch hit base hits from these guys. So first and second, now one out. All right, Pedro. I'm not going to take him out because I want your power. Come on, Pedro. Come on. There you go. Laser. Why could we have done this like ten innings ago? Another comes in to score, and they take a four to two. Well, there you go, the RBI machine. Joe Boo. Another clutch run scoring it back. Yeah, I meant like for us too. So these situations, call it clutch if you want, but his resume. Who played in that game? Was it the White Sox? And here's the catcher, Jake Taylor, known for his late inning heroics. And first offering is fouled off. Serrano, the runner at second with one away. That one, one not close. One and Jimmy's one. cat, you don't know. Swing Yo! Left field. Jake! Yo, we just turned this into a 6-2 to two game. And they add to the lead. It's six two. Dude, we got to change that. Jake running around there like his booty crack's on fire. We got to change that right now. I don't like that at all. I don't know. We missed that. We just turned it into a 6-2 to two ball game. It was 1-1 one one for like 37 innings. Quickly. And make sure that you keep the <coughs> off balance. Oh, look at this. He's hitting him with the look. Dude, his eyes are shut. He was all over that fastball. For those of you who stayed, there's the souvenir. He's already homered in this game. Late on that fastball. Go ball. One strike. Crazy game here. Craziest of crazies. Good pitch. Fantastic pitch. There you go, Jimmy. There you go. We're hitting. That's my favorite pitcher here. We're going to give everybody a day off next game. And a foul ball. It's okay. It's all right at this point. It's fine. So remaining in the game defensively, Craig Winter. He'll be out center now after pinch hitting. Oh, what? Who's this for? Third base. No. Yeah, we want him out there. That was weird. It would even ask. Scott will take over here, and he's got a nice lead to work with, so he should come in throwing strikes, attacking these hitters. Fastball in for a strike, and it's 0-1. What a game. Right through there for a strike. Oh, 
have to give something up here in terms of power if you want to put the ball in play with any. Of yeah, the White Sox. I does that for some reason. I thought I read that 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 first one doesn't officially count for some reason. You got to be joking me. You would, there is no way we're gonna do this. They are not gonna come back. They are not gonna come back. I do not, not do not accept this. It's six three. That gives them hope they can pull off this comeback. They just need a few more swings like that, and they're back in business. And now, no. And that's a base no. This is the this is one of the craziest baseball games I've ever played. I and think. At first. Here's the second baseman, Jose Barrero. Foul like, how are we going to wait till the 17th to turn it on? Oh, one down. Both teams. And that one sliced foul. Nobody out. Runner at first. Hammers. you got to be kidding me! Holy crap! It's 6-5. to five. It was 1-1 one to one going into extra innings. It's their second home run of the inning. It's six five. That was blasted. Absolutely no. You're out of there, kid. That. You're out. Now you are out. Mr. You're trash. Quarter infielders guard. He didn't make the team. He just got cut. That's what happened there. The new pitcher he just got cut. Lenny Torres. Well, the best relievers love the opportunity to come in and protect the tight lead late in the ball game. Some of them are just wired different, so we'll see what he's got here. Strike two. Get there, Tanaka. Tanaka brings it in with a nice running grab. I would say only two outs away, but that don't mean crap right now. In there at the knees, that's strike one. Late with the swing there. We hung a slider. That is not what you want to do, sir. There we go. Come on. And they're down to their last out. A little late. A little so late in the ball game. Come on. This is it. Come on, Torres. Come on. Oh, no. Reyna's got it. Come on. Play it off the pitcher. Get it. Living on the field. You ain't kidding. We living on the field. What kind of trophy? I want to see what that is. Play and finish 24 games of at least three innings with any mode. Oh, I thought it was because we just played a 37-inning game. Okay. That's just like an overall thing. Dude, that trophy was perfect for what we just did, though. We were living. We needed to set up shop. We going to have lunch out there. We had, we had like hot dog concessions coming down. We started when it was daytime. Well, that was a gun right there by Pedro. The game would have been over nine if he didn't gun that out. Boom! What a, what a game! I mean, that felt that was intense. That was intense. <laughs> It was just spring training, but we we're gonna remember that one. What? Oh, cool, cool, cool. Oh, cool, cool. First, uh, the victorious visiting team. Six runs on 19 hits. One error and 13 runners. What is tomorrow? 20, oh, it's coming Saturday. For the Reds, five runs, 12 runs. Vanass. Hold on. I bought a new couch. It's coming Saturday. Time of the ball game. Three hours and 33 minutes. Thank you for joining us here this afternoon. And we remind you to please drive home safely. I'm just confirming the delivery. It's late to be sending me emails, man. It's nine o'clock in there. Uh, that might be West West Coast is where they might be. Big quarter. <laughs> what a game! Two for seven, two for eight, two for seven. Dorn went three for seven. Seventeen innings, and look, four to three in the seventh inning or seventeenth inning. Nineteen hits. We won.
It took me to confirm it, then there ain't nowhere to confirm it. Yeah, we just played the craziest game I think I've ever played in any Major League Baseball. We went 17 innings, with the 17th inning being 4-3. to three. All right, we are now going to play a home game, too. Oh, great, the White Sox. We just went over. They had a 26, and we ain't trying to do that anymore. Whew, what a game that was. White Sox at the Cleveland. This is a division game here. Oh, Jack Parkman might be playing. I hope our guys aren't too tired. What are let's look at the take a gander at the standings. What are the White Sox doing here? Oh, they're they're number one. Well, two, but I mean they're they, they just haven't played as many games as the Mariners, but ten and six. They're one of five teams that have double digit wins. White Sox looking good. They're on a two game win streak. Six and four, and last we're five and five in ours. What a game. What a freaking game. Let's, let's go and save that. Whew. What a game. All right. White Sox. And we're going to be home Indians here, of course. What kind of uni should we give them? Yeah, they're going to take out. Uh, they look at that road 71. 67. Ooh. Road. PP home. That's Those are nice uniforms right there. 71, they were red. 40. Now, those are nice. That's right there are some of the coolest uniforms in Major League Baseball history. When they had that S and the OX, that right there just screams. Old school. That's those are good too. They got some good home ones. Oh, South Side. Oh, those are nice ones right there too. We're just gonna give them standard roads though for spring training here. All right, Indians, let's go. Lindbergh's on the mound. He's 0-1 with an ERA of 18. That's trash. Absolute trash. Look at everybody being tired. All right, Willie's coming out. We're going to put in uh, uh, Craig Winters. Uh, we're going to take Dorn out. Let's start Jimmy Rhodes. Pedro. I'll keep him in. He, he did all right. Uh, ran, let's go. Larson's going to be out. And let's put in... Has Markley got second? Oh, second. Ooh. We'll try Delgado at second. Ray Nail Delgado. All right, that, that'll be good for now. Jake, let's take Jake out. No, hold on, time out. Let's think about this. Let's switch. Yeah, let's put Jake in at DH, and we'll have Rube catch. No need for Jake's knees to get all messed up, you know. All right, there's our starting lineup for the day. Jake Taylor has been slumping against right. You shut your mouth. He just hit a game-winning home run in the 17th. You will skip all. I wish I, I need to learn how to turn them off. They tried to the, the last couple of things they recommended was just freaking asinine. Welcome in, everybody. Glad you're with Without Jake Taylor, Spring we would still be playing that last way. game. It's the Chicago White Sox and the Warriors. All right, Jack Parkman on the White Sox. Cherry ice cream? Oh, I like right, uh, we'll uh, I like cherry. Uh, you know, I don't like cherries, but I do like uh, cherry cordial. So just about set now. And towing the slab here, number 26. What do you have on him, Siggy? Try to steal My favorite ice cream, the brand you guys won't know because it's a local brand, uh, UDF, United Dairy Farmers, peanut butter chips. It's vanilla ice cream 
with peanut butter swirled, like thick. I mean, like you gotta cut the peanut butter. So the frozen peanut butter in there and chocolate chips. Oh, so good. I'm just glad to be in a new game. Here. Oh, come on, man. This umpire's freaking Stevie Wonder behind the plate. Oh, good play by the kid. Time to check out the lineup for the White Sox. Parkman batting fourth. Who's prone to giving up homers? So we'll see. We might get some big swings here today. Yeah, I think Dude, the, the, the White Sox are going to have a heck of a club this year. The guys are locking in. They're aggressive, and they have a high Tim Raines, legend. Frank Thomas, legend. Jack Parkman, buff. And they got uh, who's there? They got another good legend too. I'm trying to think who it is. Left-hand batter waits. Metcalf steps on first for the out. There's Frank. Look at Big Frank. Here's some real power at the plate. Frank Thomas. Oh, he doesn't get the call. One one of the biggest home run hitters of the '90s. Uh oh. It's gone if it's fair, but it hooks foul. Oh, it still hasn't landed yet. He hit a foul ball. That went out on the freaking street. Looks dead on him too. And a one-two. Ball at inside. Two out spaces empty. Wouldn't chase that time. I'm trying to keep it away, but there's Jack Parkman. Fall into a two-strike count. Knows the strike zone very well. Got him. Woo! We almost he almost hit one that still hasn't landed yet. For the White Sox. Back here with my pal Singy and our starting pitcher. Guys undefeated. Michael Kopech. All right, winners. In the slider off the fastball, I really like how he's able to sell fastball, but it's really Oh, hit him on the first pitch. And the leadoff man is a boy. He said, you mother son of a bitch. You know, the best way to forget about the pain is inflicting some pain and working your way around the bases and touching home plate is a way to stick it to that other team. And now I'm going to stick it to him. Ichiro Tanaka. Center field, Colas should have this one. <coughs> Makes the catch, and there's one. Need down. to check the wind here. What's going on? Why can I not see what's happening? Take a look at the lineup, Chris. This is a lineup offensively. It's blowing. It could be. To the, it always does it wrong first. That's weird. To the left, four mile an hour. Years to come. They're deep. First yeah, but you can see by the American ball. flag up there, the too. They can manipulate their personnel no, for matchups and everything else. It's uh, very intelligent the way that they use come on, Jimmy. team. And I, I think it creates a little bit of uh, uncertainty for opposing teams, especially in a big game. Big there you go. Jimmy Rhodes in the box here. Let's that one go for a ball. And there's a foul ball. Winters stands at first with one out. Good pitch. Man, that slider was slow. And another ball. Do something early here for once. Come on. We don't have fast starts, and we never do. At the belt and fires. Stays alive. I looked like that was going to be an out. I thought he popped that straight up. And here it comes. Caught him looking for the game. Well, really nice job of finishing the hitter off right there. Duarte Jimmy's none too pleased. All right, come on, big man. Tell you what, very come on, where's Joe Boo? Where's Joe Boo? Now it's going to be Pedro Serrano. Whoa, he, that was way, way up there. You know, help me now, bat. Joe Boo. <laughs> Very well. I wouldn't be surprised if the skipper puts on some type of hit and run or a run and hit. Kopech, keeping an eye on him. Come on. Here we go. Drop a big one. Come on, Serrano. You're due. He's due. Two outs. Oh, well.
That That's one missed. Two balls, one strike. Oh, good pitch. Good pitch. I'm blaming the chat again. I don't see a Joe Boo. That's that's your fault, Jimmy. Natalie, it's all on you. This is all on you. That's foul off to the right. Pedro's trying to do it all by himself out there. See, Pony Boy can't do it. He's not a member. Oh! Pedro don't hit the curve. We played an inning. No score. And welcome back to the Parkman. Top of the second, and here's the rookie catcher, Jack Parks. Clemmy, back to work. Close, but called a ball. Called a ball? Clemmy, in his rookie season, he features a four-seam fastball, a curb, a slide. They call that a ball? And a changeup. Hard hit to third. Jimmy Rhodes. And a quick out number one. And here's the veteran outfielder, Harold Baines. First pitch, Harold Baines, Baines, that's the other legend. Yeah, at first I thought he was going to be an Oakland A's legend when I seen him, but he only played for Oakland for two years. He played most of his time with uh, Chicago. Yeah, I didn't realize that. Not usually a big deal because most players are swinging at pitches up there, but we may see some surprise looks from hitters. Because I remember Harold Baines, Mark McGuire, and Jose Canseco being like Bash Brothers. I thought anyway. Maybe I remember that wrong, but I thought it was those three. But if it was, if he was part of the Bash Brothers, he only did it for a year or two because that's all he was there. Oh, he did it here. He did it here. He got all of it. Oh, my man. Oh, he did. He ran this out on the street. He hit the hill. A gigantic blast. It's one he hit the hill. Yeah, he it's too late for Joe Boone. That, that was a lightning swing right there, no doubt about Dude, it. Dude, he killed that. He hit it over the hill. How far was this, like 440? 460 feet later. 460 feet? He's three feet from the record. 463 is the record, and I ain't hit none of them. But dude, he killed it. That was all. That was Eunice. Jeez. In the box with two gone, and takes a look at a called strike. He takes it himself to the bag, and that'll do it. But they're off to a good start as they pick up. Jimenez said, "Goodbye." It's an early one nothing lead. You talk about a no doubter. That's that's a no doubter. That's when you a no doubter, Natalie, is that. It's when you hit the ball and you know it's a home run. You don't even you don't even run. You watch it. He could have got a picnic table out, sat down, had lunch. It wouldn't matter what he did. That ball was leaving the park. He didn't need to run or anything. No doubter. Goes five feet eleven inches, thirty-five years old, and he's usually a catcher. Today he gets off his legs a bit. He's the DH. Late on that fastball. Come on, Jake. It's a break like that. He still gets to stay involved in the game. Instead of starting behind. There you go, Jake. No, no good though. No good. To rest a little bit. Gets to watch the game from a different perspective. Now the catcher up to hit, Rube Baker. Big Rube. First pitch swinging. Oh, one's the count. Good pitch. <sighs> and that's down and away. Yeah, it's cold here too, dude. It was, it was in the twenties, man. Night. Good pitch. And there's two down. We're going to have to, uh, we'll have to play a game sometime, dude. You're going to have to take on the Indians here. What mode you been playing on? I'm playing on All-Star. I know I don't play like an All-Star right now, but we will. It's still spring training, though. It's spring training. We'll be in mid-season form by mid-season, I suspect. Next pitch is outside. Two down, nobody on. Swing and a miss, and he struck him out. Three up. 
top half of the third inning. Here's the rookie third baseman, Brian Ramos. And that drops in for a strike. And strike two. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. In the air, out See, I don't even know if I could bring this team online to play. You know. Serrano makes the grab on the run. We might just have to do standard teams. Braden Shoemake now at the plate. And it would be like a friendly game, of course, like when a, like a mode that says like it's not ranked or anything, you know. Just to, oh, Liner, base hit. just kind of slice that one into center. Oh, road to the show, but you still don't road to the show ask you what kind of difficulty level you want it on, or does that just change it? And that one might change as it goes. I don't know. Makes the grab two down. I know what you're talking. I've done that before. Nikki Lopez up to the plate. One year I made my do the closing pitcher. We barely played. That's the third. Look at Jimmy Rhodes. The throw to first. That ends the frame. So one hit is all they get. And we're back. Come on, Reyna. Bottom of the third. Now it's the shortstop, Jose Reyna. As he turns on the rubber, and with that good live arm delivers. This one chopped on the ground, but foul. Check. Why did you swing? Suck. I knew that was a ball. It was a million times a ball. I knew that. And then I let that one go. That looked like a strike the entire time. Two strike change up. Just missed. Man, he wanted that call. Oh, my man. Fair. That's a shot. Fair ball. Around first and hustling for second. And he's got a lead-off double. A lead-off stand-up double. All right, we got Delgado up now. He made a good play in the, on the field earlier. Come on, Delgado. See what you got, kid. See what you got. Bad start. Strike one. Oh, As a one. pitcher, you know the runner on second is ready to push things with his speed. A base hit is probably going to be a big run, so you really have to execute oh. on the mound. Ball one there. Runner at second, nobody out. Oh, good pitch. Just straight nasty. He has a tendency to chase out of the zone, and that slider that's down, that's one of his money pitches to get that swing and miss. Good pitch. A slider's working for him. Oh, hit him! That slider didn't work for him. That slider worked for us. All right, here we go. Here's when. Oh, they're playing the bunt big time. Look how they're playing the bunt. Oh, winners from the bench. Dude, filling in for Willie. A no-doubter. Dude's power is like 36. That's a three-run dinger. I'm shocked. Like, that's the, that's the craziest thing that's happened so far. Dude, the backup center fielder. Boom! Look at that. Like that. Right there, he said, I know that's me, baby. Woo. You see, it ain't no 460, but that's okay. As long as it makes it over the wall is all that matters. Ichiro Tanaka getting Beautiful. Look at that. That was an 80-mile-an-hour high. He hung a curveball. That's what happens when you hang curveballs. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Willie's like, Willie watched like, hmm. <laughs> Man's after my job. Oh, what a play. What a play. That was a good play. That's as good as it gets right there. Uh, that would that would probably make, that would that'd make the ESP in top ten. That was a strikeout. Inside, just missed. Part of the order coming through now, and with one home run already in this inning, they're definitely looking to do some more damage. 
Out to center. Colas settles underneath it. He makes the grab. That's out number two. And next will be the cleanup. All right, Pedro. Pedro Come on, big boy. Down on strikes his first time. Follow Mr. Winters. And oh. there's a ball. Ball one, no strike. In for a strike. And now it's even. Yeah, I don't want that. Ball. That was going. That was fast and outside. Good pitch. Oh. Hit hard on the ground is short. Fires over the first. Third out, and that ends the frame. But the biggest swing of the inning. Craig Winters. Right here, a three run homer. It's now a three Dude, one ball it. game. Woo! You know what? I want to see. Oh no! He hit one a freaking quarter mile last time. I really do want to see. Frank Thomas. Substitution. Winters. What's Winters' power? A forty-nine. Is that the, that was a right-hander on the mound, right? Winters' power is a forty-nine against right-handers. And he hit a no doubter. He he killed a no doubter. And the wind's not even going out that way or anything. It's actually blowing dead ahead left four. So that don't help or really hurt you. It just pushes it left. Dude, that that's good. That's good. That gives me confidence here that we can do better in what we've been doing. It's just we got to get the right pitch. Just lacking discipline at the plate in this ball game. They're chasing a lot of pitches outside the zone, and those chases that are turning into a bunch of outs. We got to get big Frank out here. We'll see. I tell you what, when we these guys are in our division, so we're gonna play them a lot. You play your division opponents, obviously more than you play anybody else. And we're gonna see a lot of the White Sox. And I am not looking forward to freaking Parkman, Baines, Reigns, and Big Frank there. Stepping in the long ball threat, Jack Parks, right through there for a strike. And that's outside at one and one. Foul ball. Kicks and fires. Battling here as he fouls it away. Base is empty one away. Top half of inning number four. Fouls it off. Still one and two. Oh, and that's outside. Lindbergh is doing much better than he did first game. This one the last game. Right field. Serrano. <clears throat> and there's two away. Two outs, base is empty. And now here is Harold Baines, Rhodes. That's out number three. Back here with my pal Siggy. Bottom of the fourth, now at the plate, Jake Taylor. Popek, back to work. Ooh. I was going to let the first pitch go by, but he threw a freaking meatball. He didn't touch it. Deals. One Way ball. outside, ball one. O2 pitch that far out of the zone gives the hitter a little confidence that maybe he can climb back into this at bat. Fights that one away, still one and two. Spoils the two strikes. He's staying up top on me. A little tardy on that fastball is going to have to get it going a little Mom's quicker. A little tardy. Get that front foot down. Good pitch. He kept it in the zone, too. That was a great pitch. And that's in the dirt. This guy's a fun guy to watch taking it bad. He just battles up there. He doesn't take a pitch off at all. Makes it so difficult on the pitchers. Check. You can tell they get frustrated with how long it takes to put him away. Swings and misses. He battled for a long time, but it finishes with a strikeout. You can't be mad at yourself after an at-bat like that one. Baker, batting with one down, takes a strike. Oh, Rube. Rube's got to start hitting better, too, man. He's got good power. Righty delivers. And one and two. Good job to fight that one off. 
This will be his last inning. And another ball. Still just the second batter of the inning, and on the mound, he's already thrown 13 pitches. They've got him working hard out there. One out, base is empty. Good pitch. Yep, I knew he had me too. And now the first baseman, Derek Metcalf. Oh. Pop up. Foul territory for the catcher. And that is that. No runs, no hits, no errors. On to the top of the fifth we go. The Warriors have the advantage three to one. And welcome back we to the ballpark. Ball. Now here is Beloy Jimenez. Oh, no Jimenez measures six feet four inches, 27 years old, and he was born in the Dominican Republic. Here comes a pitch. Jimenez. Well, then he was destined to play baseball. Appeal to first. No swing. Eric Summers go with the call. On the ground to third. Sends it across. Played by Rhodes. A little spin and move there. Hitter retired in the fifth. Oscar Colas steps to the plate for the White Sox. Oscar Colas. That one finds the zone. That's strike one. Drink Colas. Bows that off to the left and will do Ooh. it again. Swings through it. Get out of here, Colas. The Greek Mountain Dew. Okay. So he gets on base and keeps it going. Well, patience and discipline paid off right there as he got into an advantage count. Just a cookie down the middle. I mean, those oh, crap. You dream about. One's in the and that made him dive instead of the third base. I don't understand right down that. The middle, not a whole lot of velocity right on top of it. On the ground. Throw is low. Oh. Throw it in the dirt. You're taught to hustle out of the box and give it a full sprint through the base regardless of how you hit it. And he didn't make great contact, but the effort was there, and he earns the base hit. So the lineup flips over. Tim Raines digs in now. In there at the knees. That's strike one. And that's a strike. Man, I'm pretty impressed out there on the mound right now. I mean, these are tough spots where pitchers really got to bear down. Those last two pitches were well executed. Two on, two outs. Rose. Zips it across. Play it two on. White Sox strand a couple, and it remains a 3 1 ball game. What's that? Now to start the bottom of the fifth and take it over on the mound. Mike.
Alright. Alright, Reyna. Got us a new pitcher here. Best case scenario might be if he can come in here and get several quick outs, kind of bridge the gap. Oh, that's a good pitch. I didn't. Once again, I was going to just not swing at the first pitch, but man, when they throw those, it's tough not to. Oh, that's a great pitch. Well, you got the hitter already chasing that nasty slider. If you're on the mound, you just want to expand the zone right now. Get a swing and miss. And get the Reina's been going on opposite field a lot lately. Seem to be late with him now. specifically. Reynel Delgado hit by a pitch his first time up. Oh, that hit him. Ha ha! Hit him with the pitch. Base hit, sucker. Hit me with a pitch, I'll hit you with a pitch. That's what you call justice. He's hurt. Ha! We hurt him. We hurt him. He said no. He, 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 no, he walked him off. Okay. He's already homered here in this one. Yo, Craig Winters trying to step up and be a new powerhouse. A former all-star. He features a sinker, a slider, a four-seamer, a change-up, and occasionally uses a cutter. Swing, and that ball smashed on a line. Oh, I thought he had something. I tell you what, he's going to have to start doing push-ups here in a minute, though. He's going to get that willy. You hit one's home run and think he can do it every bat now. He's, he's a little speed dude. First offering is fouled off. Yeah, two outs. We'll be running on contact. Yeah. And that one lifted in the air center field. Colas makes the play, and that will end the inning. And we're back. All right, we go to the top half of inning number six. Now the number two hitter, Nicky Lopez. Fleming back to work. Trying to get him to chase on the change up that time. You know, these White Sox, simply put, are producing a lot of quality swings. We've already seen eight line drives from them, and it's always a good sign when the ball is jumping off your bat. And that's what this offense has been doing so far today. Whips it to first. One up, one down. And here's the first baseman, Frank Thomas. And that one good shot. Dude, the ball boy just went through the wall. <laughs> He's a wall boy. Dude, Frank Thomas is 0 for 3. And he he barely missed that home run. That first at bat, that ball he hit was a freaking monster that missed the pole by, what, two feet? It could easily be three to two right now. Easily. Two down, nobody on. And we're the top half of the sixth. Got him swinging. Parkman's out. So they go quietly there on to the Jake Eater taking over on the mound. Just trying to keep this one close here. And this is where a bullpen can give their players a chance to fight back into the game. I wonder what happened to Majority. Rose up for the third time here. Watches that one miss. It's only got three pitches. I can handle that. <laughs> Good pitch. That, dro that change up dropped. Good hit, Ripped but right shot. at him. Shoemake on the first, and that's one out as they get the leadoff hitter in the sixth. Come on, Pedro. Here's the cleanup hitter, Pedro Serrano. And good pitch. This guy's got some good movement. For having just three pitches, this is pretty good. Sliced hard but foul. To the right side. And he handles it himself for the out. 
Next is the designated hitter, Jake Taylor. Oh, good pitch. I thought he was dropping that one down on me too. My eyes got a lot. Ooh, here we go. But it didn't go. Come on, Jake. Hit that high heat sign in left field. Swing and a miss. One ball, two strikes. Good pitch again. And it's a strikeout. And it's a one, two, three inning. Back now, top seven, and they'll go with a pinch hitter to lead it off. Yoan Moncada. The right hander back to work. That one fouled off. That was not a good pitch. We've gotten away with this. You I'll say that. Now the one on the ground to the left, and that's a fair ball. Oh, geez. And that rolls into the corner. That's a Makes bull the crap. turn and heads for second. And he's got a pinch hit double. Not much to this one, really, but just a willingness to go the other way and put the ball in play. That's a team that right there. Nice job of staying back and let the ball with the base hit into the outfield. And they get it in quickly. First and well, this is bad news, Bears. One of the hardest things to do in the game to stay mentally and physically ready for the big opportunity. And he came through. Well, he went down. Oh, Aloha Joes. Oh, he hit the sign. Colas. Off at Aloha Joes. Well, we get a double play, but they did score a run. Now. For two. And ball one. It's the seventh inning. We're up by one. Out towards left center. Winters puts it away, and that is that. So it's one run on two hits, no errors, and nobody. We're back in a new pitcher here to start the bottom of the seventh. Davey Garcia. And he has some nasty breaking stuff. Oh, I bet he does. Now, for the white number high fly ball right field. Easy fly out. He's got it. And there's one away. Now, really nice job to get your first down in the ball game. And now, the first baseman, Derek Metcalf. That's in there. It's 0 1. Base is empty, one away. Here, the bottom of the seven. Check. See, they got me thinking everything's going to be a curve because he was talking it up and everything. Slightly elevated. That's a confidence boost for this guy out there on the mound. Check. He continues to climb the ladder. What? Down on strikes. That's out number two. Tell you what, man, they're not as is is. And check's not even an attribute. Or else I put everybody at ninety-nine. Oh, okay. Let's just call everything a strike. Let's just give him anything. He can roll the ball there. It won't matter. Strike. Oh. I swear I think that ball's dropping. This guy, I don't like this pitcher. Get him out of here. Throw something maybe down in the dirt. Foul ball still low and two. Get this pitcher out of here. I don't want him no more. Swing and a ground ball out to short. He can go home. Throw over to Thomas. Inning over. We're at the top of the eighth. Now here is Braden Shoemake. Joey Cantillo comes on now. Ah. These are the spots where Weavers really make a name for themselves. Late and close. There's not much margin for error, but at the same time, there's a reason they're put in these situations. Fouled off. He was late. Three. Got him swinging on the curveball. Leadoff man is out here in the eighth. Pitch hitter coming on. Lennon Sosa. And he will be the tying run. So we may see him try the long one if he gets a good pitch to handle. No. It's the wrong Chicago and the wrong Sosa, so I ain't too scared. 
One ball, two strikes. And a foul ball, he stays alive. Holding on to a one-run lead. Boom. Got him looking, and he didn't like the call. So they're making a move for a bat off the bench. Jose Rodriguez. And this is a big at bat coming, boo. Definitely a little added pressure on him here. Looking to get the tying run on base. And that's a base hit. It's all right. It's all right. Now a move being made for a pitch hitter, Zach Deloach. He represents... Did they brought in a lefty to face the lefty? misses. If you're a base runner, you got to stay dialed in here. That's crazy. Anything in the dirt. Try your best to get in the I mean, this is position. not idea. Here we go. All right. There we go. Bottom eight. We could break the streak here and win one. We've been going back and forth. But we won one yesterday. We might win another one here. And now it's the switch in second baseman, Raynell Delgado. The wind of the pitch. Swing and a ground ball to the middle. That's a base hit. Two for two goes Delgado. All right. Oh, that started and ended pretty quickly. No messing around right there. Let that pitch get through. Winters off the two here. I think he was looking to go the other way. It was off speed and inside, though. So a good adjustment to shoot it back up. Ooh. Winters MVP right now. All three of our runs came from his homer. Which is just nuts. The backup center fielder. Swings and chases Pitch. The pitcher wants a ground ball double play opportunity here. You've got to lay off pitches down in the zone. Oh. Oh. Yep. He was all over us. We, we had no chance at that at that. And the play. Ichiro Tanaka. Over three with two fly outs and a ground out. Foul. We'll take each year out next Six game. Will that Tomlinson one. play? He features a slider, a four seamer, and he works in a changeup. Right handed reliever. And there's a foul. I tried to get up and get that, and it didn't let me get up in time. I went from bottom to middle. One and ball. now one two and strikes. two. What's going on here? This ball's uh -oh. chopped on the ground. Rodriguez over to first. Oh, he almost threw that away. He almost threw that away. Here's the third baseman, Jimmy Rose. Oh, go for three here. A fly out of ground out to strike out. Base hit will probably be a run. Probably. I did not go. You suck. Now it appealed the first. And yes, he offered at it. That was a good slider. He slid like three feet. Oh. Whoa. Almost got him. That was close. Pitch. And he hits a ground ball right side. Here we go. We could win this one in regulation. We just got to close it out. Nine, and it'll get started with a pinch hitter, Peyton Burdick. The last chance for him here. Come on, Dalton. Here's a new pitcher from the pen, Jesse Dalton. Right to Reyna. One pitch, one out. We see a pretty high turnover rate because of it. Every outing seems to be high pressure, this one included. We'll see Woo. if he can wrap up the win and get himself a set. Luis Robert swings through it for strike one. Here we go. Come on, one more, one more. Get a strike out here. He's to spark a comeback. He tends to play better when his team is behind, so why not him? Good eye right there. Facing a closer that delivers big time. Yeah. Fits. One more. Now only one out remaining. He's locked in at the plate when he's using the whole field. He was out in the front there. Just needs to let the ball travel a little more, and his timing will be back on track. Good pitch for the strikeout. Sheets in the box now. No balls in a strike. There we go. Down to their final strike. The White Sox down to their final strike. Woo! And we beat the White Sox. This is by no means an 
three to two. Good game. All from a three-run homer from Winters of all people. That's just the 49 power came into play. Four hits, three runs, we get the win. Thanks for joining us. And Dalton goes seven for seven on the saves. Yeah, this guy dropped a freaking bomb, 460. You hung a curveball, man. That's what you get. Don't hang curveballs. Winners, one for three, yeah. I mean, that's obviously the player of the game. And that's the only run you score comes from a home run. That's probably going to win it for you. And we beat the Chicago White Sox. Then ass. Two wins in a row. One more, and that's what they call a streak. I think we've already... i got to check something real quick, guys. I'll be right back. I need to get one of those uh, I'll be right back screens. I have one. You know what? I might have one. Okay, dude. Have a good one. I'll read your message all the way. Um and and uh, see, but yeah, I mean, I, I might be able to jump on during the day tomorrow for a little bit, but not long. Like we're gonna, like I said, we're gonna try to go to Texas Roadhouse tomorrow with that. We ain't doing no hour and forty five minute wait. I can tell you that, like last week. But I'm trying to get there because I ain't been there in a while. Uh, but yeah, we'll see how it goes. Uh, yeah, give me just a minute, guys. I'll be right back. I need to get that. We'll be right back thing going, and I just don't think I have it anymore. I need to get one of those, but I'll leave this. Up real quick. I'll be right back, guys. I gotta check on something real quick. So, give me one minute.
All right, sorry about that. I'm back. I shouldn't have to go anymore. It's work. You never know when those things are going to come in. And when somebody's waiting on me to look at something. I, I don't like to keep them waiting because we're on totally different time zones. A lot of my artists aren't even in America. Europe. Europeans. All right, let's jump in here. If you guys are still... You were washing your teeth? You mean brushing? Do you really say washing your teeth in Italy? Like y'all say I'm washing my teeth? We say brushing here. Like a toothbrush. Brush your teeth. Like wash would mean like a rag. You know, you get like a rag out. All right, if we win this game, it is our first ever streak. We're home to the Angels. I feel like we played the Angels. Yeah, we did. We beat them 6-3. to three. <coughs> Vaughn beat Sand Sandoval. And that's exactly, I think, who is up now. It is. It's the same matchup. We won it 6-3. to three. Before we get into this real quick, I do want to change. For whatever reason, That's a, Jake's got a weird home run. Animations. Yeah, that's fine. That's all fine. Mm-hmm. Home run bat slam. Yeah, yeah, we, we did I didn't know he ran like that. That's much better. Any other changes we need to make? Oh yeah, I think that Lynn had a wrong Where's Lind? Oh, we're not on. Where's Lind? Lindman? Lind, 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 what's his name again? Linder? Lind, Lindberg. I feel like he had a wrong. Hmm, maybe not. Alex, never, Alex. Hmm. There was a... Wasn't there a... place to give him a nickname? Oh, it was here. The man. Shoeless Joe. Skater. Mac. Mad Dog. Lefty. Yep. Okay, that's what it was. He doesn't have one. Okay. All right, Jimmy, let's get no one in here. Yeah, that's, that's, uh, that's different, Natalie. That's definitely different. That was the other thing I was going to fix. Let me do that real quick. I, I do need to fix that. Hold on. We gotta fix that. I got his Tomlinson. He's actually he's one of the weird ones. This guy throws he bats left handed. But he throws right handed. There we go. All right, play next game. Play full game.
McFly. Pedro is going to come out for Thomason. Metcalf will come out for Freeze. Raina will come out for Markley. <laughs> you should say, you say, go wash your teeth and brush them carefully. You better be careful when you brush them. I bet there's a lot of like differences between us that are little things like that. First pitch coming at you right after the break. I bet it would be fun for us to sit down and talk sometime. Like you know what I mean. Just about, about the differences between America today, and Italy, because there's a lot. I mean, anywhere, not just America, Italy. It could be America and Germany, or it could be France and Israel, right? It could be Indonesia and Canada. Like you know, just when when you when you're that far away, and your traditions and how you live life are so different. It's funny, you know, to hear about the different stuff. And the thing about America, and, and I don't know, I can only speak for America because this is where I've lived my entire life and I've never lived anywhere else, but, like, we're so different from state to state. Like, every couple hundred miles, it's like a new land. Like, where I live and how we do stuff is nothing like where Jimmy lives and does stuff at the bottom. I'm at the top. I'm in Ohio. Jimmy's down in Louisiana. Like, our cultures are so different, it's like we're not even in the same country. You know what I mean? A swing and a soft liner, oh. and foul ball. So I can only imagine me and you. Hey. Swings through that one for strike two. Oh, Shanowell gets his lead at first. Nobody out. This one popped up. We've had some conversations about some stuff before. It's, it was interesting. Yeah, you know we could do a disc Discord call sometime, like a big group call. We could, be we could set it up like sometime, you like say, say, hey, we'll do it this day at this time. And, you know, just a voice call, just audio. And we all could do a, a, a call, guys. We should do that. Get there, Dorn. Come on. One, two. Beautiful. Me, you, Natalie, you, Jimmy, majority. We get J-Dub on there, dude. And all of our different accents and, and, and what we, we could just talk about some stuff and I bet it would be a lot of fun, actually. No, what we used to do, Natalie. Did you say you have a Nintendo Switch, Natalie? And we're back. And getting to start See, I just don't know if we could ever play games because you're in a different... Well, we play with Muhammad. He's Saudi Arabia or whatever. Oh, we hit him! Willie's on first! <laughs> Ambush! Do you see that, Jimmy? It's a trophy. We heard him and got a hit. As you see him down on the knee. Yeah, clearly in some real pain. <laughs> they called that trophy ambush. It's looking to me like he's gonna try to shake it off and continue. Oh, okay. Cause I'm gonna say what me and something and Jordy and, and, and Trey, what we do sometimes is uh, we'll play Nintendo Switch, and Nintendo Switch has its own audio. You have to use your smartphone, but it, it comes in through the Nintendo Switch. Yeah, a foul ball. And we play Mario Party. That would be a fun game because there's no skill required there, hardly. It's just a fun game. Mario Party or Mario Kart. We used to play that. We just hadn't done it in a while. We need to get. We need to do that one weekend. Have a Mario weekend where we play the couple different games. I'll say you could play with us, Natalie, but you know, because that's when Majority gets her voice on chat and stuff. It's uh, it's usually a lot of fun. Whoa. Look at this game. Well, we've seen this recipe cook up a big inning. Plenty Looking for a win streak. Our first ever win streak. Come on, Dorn. Now the third baseman, number 24. Oh! He popped it up. And the infield fly is called. Dang it. Pedro's out. He took the day off. 
Singy, we're looking at a really young lineup here, so not much experience, but it also means they're going to bring a lot of energy to the table most days. Well, we're in a golden age of young players. I bet there's a lot of... We talked a little bit because I thought that... Well, no, I didn't think. It's France, and I know that they're much more open than we are. Unlike nudity and stuff like that out front, but you said it's not like that. I remember our conversation. But, you know, that's changed here. As time has gone on, you know, it's not as much. It was... away at second. Oh! Good pitch. Well, I'm not sure what he was waiting on right there. He got the change up and still late on it. You rarely see that. It almost makes you think that he was trying to set the pitcher up. I mean, if you can't catch up to the on speed stuff, there's no way you We get the first two runners on and we do not score. That is terrible. That is... We almost should have just bunted it. Welcome back to the ballpark. Second inning, set to go. Brandon Drury to the plate. Oh, he's sitting out over to the concession stand. Oh, I wish we could see that. A righty that throws with power. He features a four-seam fastball, a changeup, a cutter, a sinker, and he works in a slider. Ooh, Rusty Valentine umpire behind the plate in this one. He has what you might call a tall strike zone, both at the letters and down below the knees. Yeah, Got him. And I'm sure that helps a lot of pitchers we see today who like to work up, down, trying to change eye levels and swing pads. Yeah, exactly. Tim Salmon in the box with one away as he takes ball one. And that's outside, and it's 2-0. Oh. Swing and a ball popped up. No trouble here, puts it away for the out. Nice. Yeah. Taylor Wool, the next to hit for the Angels. A good hit. Swing and a line drive and a base hit up the middle. And that keeps the inning going. These hitters today are so great with handling velocity. They're seeing high speeds day after day. And a nice job of turning that one around. Chili Davis stands in with two away as he takes a ball. That one down the line. And it goes just foul. And he grounds one to the right side. Base hit. Throw in. And yeah, we don't see a lot of uh, Italian actors either. I mean, there's some, but they're mostly American or or English. A lot of English actors took over, like all of our American superhero roles. You know? Just missed. You know, you got Tom Holland playing the Spider-Man. You got Henry Cavell with the. Superman and all that stuff, so just, I mean, all of them. Like Christian Bale, Batman, all, all these English actors. Oh, Boom. Oh, Took over all of our American oh, superheroes in, in the, on the big screen there. Bottom of the second. Now it's the rookie D.H. Rude the Baker. Wine and pitch. No. Jack Swing tried to hold up, now an appeal to first. And no swing, says Jerry Hills did. Well, there's a good fun fact. You know what? I just don't think I've ever actually dated an Italian before. Like in a legitimate yeah, Italian. I haven't. It's one of the... Like, I've never been around one. That's what I'm saying. Not just date, but, you know. The I've just never been fires. around, like... An authentic Italian. I dated a couple um, Persians, and those are interesting, man. They're aggressive. To the left side. Good shot, Rube. They did two, two authentic Persians, like from Persia, and they were both extremely aggressive. Well, they call that an advantage count for a reason. No, You're so much more likely to get something you can handle. Turn on it nicely. Definitely a little out in front of the pitch, but he didn't. Oh. That one ripped right center field. He's trying to make him take on the squad here. Baker, around third. He's going to make it. He scores and they have to lead. one nothing. Trying to make this win streak a reality. As a hitter, you love seeing those as you take your first couple of steps out of the box. You know you've got some real estate to run on. It's such a good feeling. Nice liner into the gap right there. He got me. There's one. I tried to wait, but went too early. Larson. Slapped foul. Oh, killed somebody. Third day. That one 
missing oh. inside. Well, he's so great about hitting the ball the other way. He gets those arms extended. So right there, just trying oh. to straighten him up a little bit so he doesn't have as much outside plate coverage. And a 2-1 on the way. High in the air, out to right. Salmon on his way over. Ah. Uh. Two down. It's the wind doing this game. The bat. So the batting order turns over. Out to left field, five mile an hour. The speedy Willie Hayes. No, you better not call it. First pitch, appeal down to first, did not go. The one oh. In the air, right field. Salmon gets under it. Makes the made it easier for him. But a run will score in the inning on this, this Priest guy, man. I told you he's been growing on me. He just hit a uh, RBI double. He is playing really well. He's going to make the team right now. On to the third inning. And down the shortstop, Michael Stefanik. He just goes to show you he started off with an error, too. On the ground right side. Slings to first. Leadoff man retired here in the third. Back to the top of the Angels lineup. Nolan Shonwell, the next to hit for the Angels. Oh, good job stopping it, but it was a Base is empty. foul ball. Swing and a miss. And it's nothing in two. Oh, On a line, base hit. Hmm. Back to back singles for him. I could watch you know, I'm of I'm German heritage, but you know, I've never been. Coach in the league. Just a nice line drive in the center field. Us Germans, we're kind of weird too. Stands in for the second time. Next offering is I'll admit it. We got that whole like, I want to take over the world complex. We're here in the top half of inning number three. Foul ball left side. He'll see another. And a pitch. Foul off the plate. The you ever heard Norm McDonald stand up about Germany? It's freaking hilarious. This to third. Heck of a shot. Good play, Tanaka. So it's first and second. Have, have either of you heard Norm McDonald stand up comedy on, on uh, Germany? He didn't just push it the other way through the infield. He drove it that way, and it kind of makes me think he was thinking opposite field as he stepped into the box. Got a pitch he liked, and he got it done. I haven't heard it enough to be able to, like, repeat it. Like, you know what I mean? And make it do it justice, so I won't repeat it. But it's really good. Oh, look at this. Swing and this one's bouncing. Oh, my God. I thought I was, oh. The last thing he wants is to hit the ball on the ground, but I wouldn't expect many pitches up in the zone. They'll be pitching for a double play. Oh, good shot. Time. Still two and two after the foul ball. One out. Runners at first and second. Nope. Well, I can't tell his jokes because I, I haven't listened. I've only heard it one time. It was really good, but I won't be able to, like, duplicate it. Oh no, hold on. Woo. They didn't even take three. He's talking about like how no country scares him except for Germany. And then like the, you know, he goes on the joke, the whole the jokes are like, you know, he's like first and second with two outs. They had a uh, He's like when most places go to war, he's like, no, you know. Palestine, they, they, they go to war against Israel. You know, um, uh, Iraq goes to war against Kuwait. You know, that kind of thing. He's like, you know, Germany went to war. He's like, and they picked the world for their opponents. <laughs> He's like, and uh, you'd think that'd be over in five minutes, right? He's like, they almost won. <laughs> You know what I mean? And because Norm McDonald has that real slow delivery, but it was funny. He's like, he's like, yeah, they picked the entire world. He's like, and, and, and you'd think that that fight would be over in about five minutes, but uh, they almost won. Hard hit, left side. 
Tosses the first. He's talking about how long it went yeah. on. And he's like, and then you know what? They they go to war again. So World War II. He's like, guess who they picked? They picked the world again. <laughs> Entire world. He was talking about, like, we should just tell Germany they're not allowed to be a country anymore. He's like, at what point do you tell these guys you're not allowed to be a country anymore? You stop fighting everyone. The right field. Two outs, bases empty. And now the right fielder, Bill Tomlinson. It is really funny. He's over one. You'll have to look that up on YouTube. Oh, man. Pop up in foul ground. He's dead now, but he was a really good comedian. I always liked Norm McDonald. At first, when I was younger, I didn't. He was. He had such a slow delivery as a, as a teenager. I didn't much appreciate it. Uh oh. There's a swing and a drive. That's going back. Back side. And it's gone. He just tied it up. He crushes that one to center field, and it ties it up. It's one. A low sinker. One swing. It didn't sink enough. Yeah, you can say that's efficiency right Tim there. Salmon. Need much time in the box what are you having for dinner, time. Salmon? Bull crap. Really tried, could not get there. Thanks to the home run. And next for the Angels, Taylor Ward. Strike one. Always exciting to see a leadoff home run in an inning. Kind of gets the offense fired up, and you start to expect a big inning. Line drive takes it in for the out. It's never fun going back to the dugout after hitting the line drive that finds a glove, but you will get some high fives. You know, when you make great contact, you feel like you've done everything right. But in this game of baseball, not everything is in your control. On the ground to third. Whips it across. Got the out. Now, uh, really? Norm McDonald? Oh man, he was on uh, he was on Saturday Night Live all those years. Norm Macdonald has been around doing comedy since like the 80s or something. Throw it, Markley. Got him. Good job, Pree's digging that out. But Timmy, Tim Salmon, things got a little fishy. and here is One to one. The pitch. Little chopper rolls foul. He's funny. Because he's just he, he has a very slow cadence, but I learned to appreciate it as I got older. Things are happening a little quicker than this offense would like, and we see it in the numbers. They're hitting into a lot of outs early in the at bat. The wind of the pitch. And it takes low for ball one. Recognize that change up right out of the hand. Just spit on it. Come on, Jake. Come on, Jake. The one, two. Inside, almost got him. Two, two. Well, good eye. Good eye. Frustrating for pitchers because this will be his last inning. So pitches and grinds out the at bat. I'm sure there's sometimes where pitcher better just give up. Good pitch. Than have to waste six good six pitch. Pitches on one hitter. And next is the designated hitter, Rube Baker. One for one with a single and a run scored so far. And a foul ball. Dang it! Dropped it. No chance of that. Right there, just pulled the string. And that's outside. Next pitch misses way outside. Wouldn't chase that time. Come on, Rube. Be smart here, big boy. And the pitch. Fights it off. Strike. See another. And fouled off. Fouled off. That was that could have been a strike. That could have struck me out. It was right on the corner. One down, base is empty. And he walked. There's a walk. It wasn't easy, but he earned that walk after a long at bat. Nope, Next nope, is the nope, speedy nope, first baseman, number 34. Oh I don't think he really wanted to pitch to him right there, anyhow. 
Oh, he so golfed it. Calls it in to a way. Now digging in, William Marcus. Come on, Markley. We went down, then had to go back up. That was kind of stupid Off for us. First with two away. In the air, out to center. Edmonds on the move. He's there. He's got it. And that will end the inning. Oh. Fifth inning coming up. Tied at one. Ready now for the fifth inning. And now, Michael Stefanik. Michael Stefanik measures five feet, eight inches, 28 years old. Usually a second baseman, but today starting at shortstop. One second, one second, one second. All right, Vaughn. The right hater back to work. Ball one, no strikes. Well, some people think this is no big deal, but I think when you consider the longer throw, the fact that you've got to be able to cover up the middle to your left, it's a big adjustment for him. Swings through that one. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. The high heat too much on that one. So the lineup flips over. And now it's going to be Nolan Shadowell. And that one wrapped foul. He's been going after these guys consistently, and as a result, he's been able to keep his pitch count low. Throwing the ball very well right now. Gets a piece, and it stays 0-2. Got it. Oh, come on. I think he said that's, that's BS without the B. Better than others, and right here, clearly letting the ump beard a little bit. One down, base is empty. Gets a piece there, we'll do it again. Here's a one two. Swing and a miss, and him out front for the strikeout. Got him. I think he might have gotten away with one right there. That was a it's only, that's only Vaughn's third strikeout. He's not having a good game like he usually does. Oh, that batter is kicking himself right now, would like to get that pitch again. Just pulled the string on it, and the deception gets in the K. In fact, let's get uh, let's warm up the bush. Two down, nobody on. Up the middle, Larson gets it to first. Angels retired. One, two, three. One, two, three. Angels held in check. Still tied. One, one. We had to make a play, get the hit. Yeah, he's got a million pitches here. Big swing and a miss. Canning in his fifth season, 27 years old, and he won a gold glove in the shortened 2020 season. Next offering, pop foul off to the right out of play. Struck him out swinging. Had him way. Back to the top of the line. Well, he's one for two. Oh, I forgot to check the trophies, Jimmy. 
first pitch doesn't find the zone. Yeah, I want to check the trophies and see what we got left. We're actually getting these done pretty good. Also getting ready. Ah! Come on, Willie. Nabs it and a couple of quick. There's majority. Where you been? Now got left fielder. Now the left fielder, Ichiro Tanaka. Singing, you got her. We played the craziest game of all time earlier. It was 17 innings. And the 17th inning was four, four runs to three. Swing and a ball popped up. And it's foul. So we win this game. We're on our first ever official win streak. It. It's heartbreaking for the hitter because off the bat, he thinks... Oh, we got the new emojis, Majority. Because of that speed and the ability to make up so much crown, he enters the picture... I thought I'm not, Natalie just got sad because of AIDS. Swing and a miss. I thought and Natalie said AIDS. <laughs> like, that is something to be sad about. HIV is no laughing matter. then became an elite... Oh, ah. Uh, out in left field for the Kansas City Royals. But he's a guy. Yeah, it's pretty much two games in on one. It was crazy. As that'll do it for the inning. We played five. Well, we got the new emojis, majority. We got the tribe emoji. And here comes. For like when we do good. Got the home run emoji in there. We got Joe Boo for when Serrano's up. He's not playing this game. He's got the day off. And, and I'll tell you what, Natalie and, and Jimmy's been slacking on the Joe Boo. They've been doing good on the home run because I don't hardly hit any. Boom. Oh, the game was crazy. So, like, it was one to one. It was us and the Reds. We went into the, the tenth inning one to one. At like the 14th inning, we score a run, and we go up 2-1. to one. And they score a run with two outs. Tied it back up at 2-2. Two to two. So then in the 17th inning, we put four more runs up. We go up 6-2. to two. And then they came back and made it 6-5. to five. They almost tied it up again in the 17th. It was just unbelievable. It, whatever we did, they matched it every single time until finally... We got that six to five win in the 17th. It was like I was just saying, like just let them win. You know what I mean? Like we need to get out of this game. All of our players got tired. We had to use like everybody on the entire bench. Nothing across here this half. Penny Rosenberg gets the call from the pen. It was crazy. It was was. This one's one to one in the six. This is kind of looking a lot like it. Ooh. That's not even close to the zone. That one drifts inside. One ball, one strike. Come on, Dorn. And he deals. Ooh, right good pitch. Down the line, and that one slices foul. <laughs> slices foul. This to center field. Edmonds makes the play. One down. Now it's the right fielder, Bill Tomlinson. In for a strike, and it's 0-1. Activity in the bullpen, Tyler Anderson up and throwing. Fly Drop. Center field. Drop. Edmund sprinting after him. Makes a nice grab and a full sprint. Two down. Here's the power hitting catcher, Jake Taylor. Corner. I'm trying to take the first pitch. Pitch misses there. One and Come one. on, Jake. Two down, nobody on. Here in the bottom of the sixth. Swing and a high fly ball down the right field line. Salmon makes the catch. That is the inning. Back now as it'll be a pinch hitter to lead off. Anthony Rendon. He represents the go-ahead run. Turned on, but foul wide of third. Come on, we win this game. We are on our first ever three-game win streak. That one, misses. That one did not miss, sir. It did not miss. The umpires out there calling balls and strikes like Ray Charles. The edge of the plate with the spin, you know it's going to finish well off the plate. At the belt and fire. So it'll probably be uh, seventh. This will be Vaughn's last inning. Balls it in, and there's one away. 
Chili Davis, the next to hit for the Angels. That's through there for a strike. How's the weather, Chili? Base is empty one away here in the top half of inning number seven. That's out to center field. Hayes drifts towards it. Two away. Really with two easy ones. And Chili Davis is out. And now the catcher comes up to him. Matt Thice. There's the strike at the knees. There we go, please. He takes it himself to the All right. One to one. Doing for the offense that time. Seventh inning stretch time. All tied one one. We're back in a new pitcher here to start the bottom of the seventh. Jimmy Hergen. So Come on, Rube. Rube Baker. The wine to kick the pitch. I wish I wasn't waiting on that because I, I could have crushed it. Percentage of success when you want to try to go after that down. Good pitch. This guy's slurve is good. And that was the slider. Rube got jacked up. He's one for two here at the double. I'm pretty sure he made the team, though. He's played really well. Safe. Oh! We don't do something here. We're going to go into this game. And one to one. That was infield hit all the way. Marks stands in here, leaves that one off the inside. He was late there, strike one. Good, Good pitch. pitch right there, tied him up on the hands. If I'm out there on the bump, I'm going right back in there. On the ground, and he can't come up with it. He's out. But they get the out at first. And but th this guy got got so poop in his draws. Why well, was he was barely Back moving? Here with my pal Siggy. We go to the eighth. Here's the shortstop at the play. Michael Stefani. Time to bring in the bush. Bring in the bush. Bush no. Grab ball up the middle. In plenty of time to first. First out. Good start. Top of the one pitch, one out. That's what I like to see. Defensive play in the late stages of the game. It might not be the most challenging we've seen today, but it needed to be made. That's helping your team. Press ball for a strike. And it's one and one. All tied up, and we're in the top of the eighth. Here's a high fly ball. Well, really he's been getting some easy plays out here. Settles under it. Makes the grab. And there are two down. <laughs> Not the poopy drawers. Poopy. That is an poopy drawers. Uh-oh. one high in the air to left center. Grabs it on the run. And that is that. Play Tanaka. Back now, new pitcher on the mound as we roll into the bottom of the eighth. Andrew wants. Well, I wants to get a home run here. Or so I need to want. Need to run. It's bottom of eight. We got to do something. That one finds the zone. And he chases a high fastball there. Well, he just threw that fastball and I am elevated. And if you're not looking up in that location, very difficult to catch it. Woo! Swings and misses. Struck him out. And now the center fielder, Willie Hayes, one for three. One for three here. Tapped at the plate, but it's a foul ball. He got a base hit with the first pitch of the game, hit the pitcher, hurt him. And fouled off. The guy's going back and forth between low and high. Fan. Only as a broadcaster, not as a fan. You? A little bit of many games as a fan. Pitch misses. Now one and two. Rarely will you see a pitcher just to waste a pitch like Oh, bummer. That wasn't even tempted to swing. Every pitch needs to have a I'm sure you restarted your modem and everything, right? In your router if you got one. Yeah, the righty deals. On the ground at first. Willie! And it stays fair. Should 
Showed some really nice patience in that at bat. Worked himself into a good count. Just a simple ground ball the other way that had eyes on it, man. Sometimes that's all you need to do. Just let the ball travel, put the ball in the ball, and just find some hope. And now they've got some speed. Four ball. Because so we'll it's a ball. That was a ball. That misses the zone, and it's a ball to strike. Here goes the runner. Pitch misses. Oh. oh. We'll see. That's a stolen base. Pew. Willie. Good stuff, Willie. Two one. Slap the other way. Foul. Nice right, second baseman. Two two now. Up the middle. All right. Go ahead, runs on three. And he's out. We got two outs, though. Outcome in that spot. The All right, it's up to Dorn. Hey, Dorn's a good hitter. To Today, Dorn's 0 for 3. Crap. At the end of the day, it's all right, though. It if it's first, we got to swing first pitch if it's there. Number Check. It was there, but it's, nah. Strike. Oh. strike no matter what. It don't matter. That was a strike. Good pitch. Really good pitch, actually. Come on, back up the middle, Dorn. There you go. There it is. Indians take the lead. And the eighth. Uh oh, hold on here. Hold on here. That means we need to get, we need to get. Hold on, I said it, it didn't let me call time. I was trying to call time that whole time. 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 We gotta get uh, our clothes ready. It could be a dub right there. Oh, there's that one ripped to left. Oh, no. Adele makes the play, and that'll do it. So one run in the inning on this. Dorn's base hit. pretty clutch, Last man. Chance coming up here for the Angels. Look at that! Just perfectly little shot in the gap. Nothing anybody could do. They had no play on the ball. Welcome back, as we have a pinch hitter to lead it off. All right, here we go. Hit the wrong button. Number Here we go. Be the tie run board, so we may see him try to launch one if he gets a good pitch to handle. I'm, I'm gonna do a a mound is time is called here. That'll get my get a little bit more time to relax or to warm up. Bullpen. We went Dalton. Jesse Dalton on a pitch here. Save opportunity for him right here, and he's their guy. Time to lock this one down and get out of here he's with right. the W. And here it comes. That one, a triple digits. We could be, this could be a three-game win streak here. <gasps> Swing at a bouncer. Oh, no, Jake. Ah, Jake put him off the bag. Dang it, Jake. Jordan Adams. A runner at first four, nobody out. That one close, rule the ball. And that is ball one. Outside. He's clearly trying to work him away here. Both pitches off the plate. If you really want to put the ball in play, you're going to have to stay back and drive it to the opposite field. But you want. Okay, let's get him. Come on. Come on, Dalton. strikes. May see some movement over there at first base. Trying to stay out of the double play right here. Oh, we got this. And that one is lifted in the air. Squeezes it. And there's one away. All right, one out. Now, bow The right one. Next to hit, Tim Salmon. He's I can't believe they kept Salmon in. Right through there for a strike. Just amazing to me how many closers and back end relievers just throw absolute gas these days. I never would have had a chance. Oh, there we go. One out away. I see it more commonly in the sport these days, but man, a triple digit fastball blown right by someone is still pretty awesome to witness. 
I mean, you got to be geared up and ready to swing it when a guy like this comes out of the bullpen because that fastball, it eats, and if you're not ready, you're going to be walking back to the Streak! And a swing and a miss, and that is the... And Dawn just goes 8 for 8 on the saves. I think we've had the save almost every game. We're not crushing anybody. All right. What's up, J Dubs? And your final score here today, 2 1 for Chris Singleton and our entire crew. I'm John Chompy saying so long. Go, Indians. Big win. Spring training is starting to go pretty nice here. Getting production from some guys off the bench there. Yeah, we don't need to see that. Skip that. Yeah, we understand. You hit a good shot. Dorn went out and got that one. Jesse Dalton. Bam! He was just looking like... And they had six hits to R5. Ooh. Jesse Dalton. We've beaten the Angels twice. What now? What happened? It said it lost connection with uh, the MLB. Are we offline right now? No, what, what we we're here, we're connected, right? No, 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 we ain't, we ain't on there. I'm a, I mean, it, not that we need it, but I like to have it. Winner, winner, wahoo! Winner, winner, chicken freaking dinner. <laughs> Pedro will be back in the lineup here. And we got, uh, you see the Joe Boo? <laughs> Joe Boo. Pedro needs some help. I'm going to have a, when we start the regular season, I'm going to have some cool stuff on, that'll come up when we're playing. Hi, everybody. It's Boog Shambi. Welcome to the show. Okay, it's connected back. The Reds again. Are you serious? We just played, yeah. We just, we beat the Reds twice. We beat the Reds four to three, and we beat the Reds six to five in that ridiculous 17 inning game. I didn't realize they were back so quick. It's a home game, too. I did not realize that. Let's take a gander at the standings. We're, we're doing pretty... Look at us in third place. Ten and we got double-digit wins. Holy crap. And we beat the White Sox. We, we've lost to the Mariners twice, though. We've not played the Rangers. Diamondbacks freaking slaughtered us. The Cubbies beat us, too. But we beat the Padres. We beat the Brewers. We're actually doing pretty good. We want a three-game win streak. What's the Reds doing? Oh, the Reds are five and ten. Yeah, the Reds suck balls. But they did just win their last game. Let's uh let's let's beat them three games in a row here. Not in a row, but you know what I'm saying? All three games we would have played them. It's a night game, 7.05. Eddie Harris is on the mound. He's one and two. Willie, let's go. Uh, Tomlinson's going to play left. Tanaka needs a rest. Yeah, look, we got a good lineup here. Look at everybody's full green almost. Because that last last couple games, we let people take days off. Dorn's looking good. Pedro's back strong. Jake is cold, but that's fine. Since Jake's cold, we're going to have him play DH. Yeah, you know what? Since Jake's cold, why don't you sit down, Jakey? Let's have... Uh, I want Preeze coming in. Preeze has been doing pretty good here. 
And then we'll go Rube, then Mick, and then Reyna and Larson. I like that lineup. Here we go. You will shut your mouth. I don't know why it tries to talk to me. He's getting a little rusty. I will I will give not him no playtime. Skip all, I say. We're 10 and 6. Don't tell me how to play the game, game. We're 10 and 6. We're on a three-game win streak. And they're trying to tell me how I need to manage my life. Welcome into Jake Palm Field. Spring training baseball coming your way. It's the Cincinnati Reds and the Warriors. <laughs> Who said cat? That's John Daly. That's for the golf streams. John Daly. Wait till you see. I made him a, 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 a the golf the game. Right after this. Man, this is our third game against the Reds. It's like they're trying to build up an Ohio rivalry Now here. it's the veteran outfielder, Paul O'Neill. And a pinch. And that one. We win this game. We, we take them all three. And he deals. Gets the call. Oh, a two now. Keeps the at bat going with a foul ball. O'Neill's gotten at least one hit in, in the previous two games. We can't trick one by him here. With that front shoulder, but was able to slow his back down just enough to make contact with that pitch. Keep the bat alive. Kicks and fires. Got him. Tries to check his oh. to third. Bill Swing. Kenny Jansen with the call. The one two. And another ball. On the ground to the left. And it's through for a hit. He saw a lot of pitches in that at bat. Bull found crap. a way to win the battle. Nice at bat right there. Not just the result, but also <laughs> seen a lot of pitches. He made him really work out there on the mound. Not much to this one other than just a willingness to go the other way. Yeah, that's for golf. I'm going to play some golf here. Nice job of staying like normal. You know, season's about... The season's already started, but, you know, for me in Ohio here, I needed to warm up a little bit before I can get into it. Left field. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And there's one down. Because we can't play here or nothing. It's cold. Courses aren't even open. Here's the lineup for the Reds. They're dealing with a top-level arm on the mound, so this uh, figures to Larkin's be a back. tough matchup for them. What's the key to the offense today, Singy? Well, Boog, I think when you got a guy that's... Larkin had the day off last time we played him. find ways to disrupt his rhythm, make him uncomfortable a little bit. The guys that... Metcalf. There's one. Out. On to first. Safe. 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 So well, we got the lead runner. We got the lead runner. Nice try there. Eric Davis. Eric Davis has only got one home run, and I'm pretty sure he hit it against us. <laughs> he's got one home run this year, and it was against us. Most of the very few opportunities he's going to give you, right? Absolutely. And, and you know, if you don't get to guys like this, a lot of times early, once they really settle in, it's going to be the later innings that they hand that ball. All right. Good first inning. And Playing some good baseball out there. Incomplete. We've got no score. Bottom of the first. And now Willie Hayes. Come on, Willie. The pitch. That Hayes. one's in there. And it's all Start us off with something here. I keep forgetting to check the trophies. Remind me to check the trophies after the game. I'm curious what we got left. We've been knocking these out. Bounced up the middle. Oh, run it, Willie. Run it. Oh, he... <laughs> He killed it. Boom, that's staying within his game right there. I mean, this speed's... Hey, he took 20 minutes to turn around now and throw that ball. Really do some damage. I love seeing what guys like this can do to disrupt the game once they get in a position to do so. Davis. I, I had to swing at that. That was right down the freaking middle. Take a look at the lineup. Yeah, with their ace on the mound today, they're just looking to provide him a little bit of run support, and they'll see what they can do for him. You have to be really careful when you've got a guy like this oh, on the no mound way. for you to not become a spectator. You know that he doesn't give up a whole lot, but sometimes <laughs> guys get a little too comfortable and don't have an urgency to score runs. You have to make sure you put him in a situation yeah, no good. where he can no get good. the W, but also you guys can cruise too to cold. the finish line and not have to worry about a comeback in the end. He's going. Here's the pitch. Runner goes. Strike in there. Safe. The throw. Tag. And what? Down. That goes to show you stealing a base is a tough thing to do and far from a sure thing, even with big time speed. It's not easy to catch him, but that was a great catch and throw. Quick, not rushed, and accurate. That was a fantastic throw. 
Why don't they slow it down and actually show me what happened? Yeah, you know, why, why don't they actually show me the tag? Up the middle. Fires to first on the run. That ends the frame. Boo. And we're back. New inning getting started. And here is Will Benson. Fought off foul. Benson, in his second season, hitting fifth in today's lineup. And he's usually in the outfield. Today, he's the DH. Bounce to the right. Larson. On to first. One up, one down. You know, Bill, people don't realize how far the jog is from the dugout to the outfield position. And if you're playing in Oakland, man, it's a country mile to get out there. So for him to be able to be the DH today, that is really a nice day off. Strike two. One ball, Whoa. Two we got some devil clouds moving in. One out, bases what was that crap? And that one is lifted in the air. Larson snags it on the run. That about looked like the major league movie scene right there, That's didn't it? Really nice play. They run out there and then they like all three of them like jump out the way at the end and then nobody catches it. A little tricky, especially if the wind's swirling around out there. Jamer Candelario in the box with oh. two gone. And it takes a look at a called strike. Out there to center. I forgot to check the wind here. And Good start so down. far. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. All right, Pedro. Back here Let's get Joe Boo going center. here. Now here is Pedro Serrano. Pedro. He consistently hits the ball hard. He's only got two home runs. Look at these like weird clouds coming in. Green back to work. Oh, right side. Dang it, Joe Boo didn't help us. I had already hit the ball before you even brought Joe Boo up from my standing here. Number 34. Bummer. That was a bad pitch. And a foul ball. Green. Yeah, it's too late. You gotta do it. You gotta bring it as he's walking up there. A former first round pick. No good. Back in 2017. Good pitch. Good pitch. Right there. Tied him Good pitch. If I'm out there on the ball, I'm going right back in there. Ooh. Struck him out. Now two out. Quick three pitch strikeout. And you look at the sequence. The plan was Rube. clearly to work him inside. Didn't want to let him get his arms extended. Make him a little bit. This guy's pitching pretty well. He ended up overmatching him in the process. Based on last game, I don't really want to see that because. As a hitter for next time you come to the plate. Pretty well struck right field. O'Neal. Oh, look. Rube with the warning track power. What the puck? <sighs> Let's check the wind. No score. Four mile an hour to the right. Back to the ballpark. Out of the third inning. In now for the uh -oh. Spencer. That's Tomlinson. Easy out. And there's one down. Next for Cincinnati. <laughs> Tyler Stevenson. That's funny. Right yeah, Jimmy is in the voodoo market down there. Top of the third, no score. The pitch. Battling here as he fouls it away. Yeah, the right-hander deals. Spoils the two-strike pitch, and he'll see another. That's foul off to I went to the grocery store really early this morning. I went, I went to like 10 o'clock or whatever, you know, 9.30, whatever, just to get, the, you know, before anybody else got there. I, went to, I always do the self-checkout. Ever since I started doing self-checkout, my life has been so much easier. I started doing that years ago. Many, many, I don't know how long ago, but many years ago. You don't have to deal with people. You don't have to wait in lines like that. It's just, it's a beautiful thing. Oh, Larson. Is that going to be an error? Hold on. Is it going to be an error? Now that, 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 that. First no, I think play. they called that a they base hit. TJ Friedel. That one but anyway, the zone. I always do the self-checkout. It's so much easier, you know, so much easier. Oh, crap. 
And there was an older lady over there, and she was, you know, doing bags and stuff, make, checking to make sure people don't steal cramp and whatnot. He scores and they have the lead. But she said hi to me or whatever. It was really early, like I said. I said, uh, whatever I said, then I said, how, how are you doing? And she goes, uh, she goes, well, it's too early to take inventory. <laughs> I think I'm going to use that. That's a good one. I like that. If somebody asks you how you're doing, like in the morning, just tell them it's too early to take inventory. Is that crap? That was true too. It, it was too. Early. Oh, he just smashed that over a low high Joe's. Really? Oh, because you live in Louisiana, Jimmy. They're probably stealing everything, dude. You live in one of them danger zones. That was a great shot right there. Well, the Reds just scored on us. And now the first baseman, Derek Metcalf. You're the one of Mary's where you can't trust right anybody. Back to work. All one there. Oh, got on top of it. Oh, that was a good play, though. Candelario on the first. One up, one down. So up next, Jose Reno. Oh, Y'all voodoo specialists down there. Y'all ain't got no uh y'all ain't got no integrity. Oh, good pitch. Like Chicago, they don't even they won't even put him back anymore. Like they took the entire store out. Of Chicago up there? And then that's when they were all complaining that Walmart's racist. No, Walmart's in the business of making money. When you all riot it and pillage it and steal from it, doesn't matter where you're at, what you're doing, they're not going to get... Oh, look at this. Barry Larkin trying to be Derek Jeter. That was a great play. It's got nothing to do with being racist. It's got to be when, when, when you're losing more money than you're making, then you can't do that anymore. Stop stealing. That's strike one. Not sure if he could be in more of a group. Looks really relaxed. He's retired seven straight. Oh, this guy's feeling man. Right now. Three ground outs. It's a one, two, three inning. So Chicago, I know because I read the story on that. So a couple parts of Chicago there, they just totally took the WalMarts out. They said we're done. We we can't we can't run a business here. And and that's the way it goes. I, you know you, you got to do it. You got to do it. At the, at the location, no matter where it's at, Just misses steals so much and, and trashes the store and keeps it so bad that you can't make any money, then you got to go. And they have no one to blame but themselves. And if it was in Cincinnati, I'd be saying the same thing. If it was right here in my neighborhood, I'd say, we need to do better. And that chance handled... Whoa! Can play Dorn. I don't care if it's in Hawaii, Chicago, Cincinnati, Louisiana. Wherever it is is wherever it is. If, you, if you're going to freaking wreck the store, then they're not going to keep it there. And then they want to blame Walmart. Stupid. That's like, remember Portland. Remember when all that, the, the riots and stuff were going up there? And, and Portland, Oregon? Started their own little like town. Remember that nonsense? That was one of the dumbest things I've ever seen in American history. Like that's gonna make the history books one day, and people are gonna look back in the future and be like, "What the hell? Like how stupid are you?" They started their own little town, and they like blocked it off from everybody. That's a circle. Yeah, I, I'm with you, Eddie. I'm with you, Eddie. Eddie said, man, he's going to meet them in the parking lot after the game. But the, they, they blocked off everything, and they wouldn't like cops in, and they wouldn't let, you know, like, they, they were, like, under their own rule. We almost hit the concession guy. And then remember there was, like, a shooting or whatever in there? Ground ball could be two. Steps on the back. Oh, we made a double play by stepping on the bag and then throwing it. I just ran across the bag. 
That was nice. Watch this double play. I was running right. I was going to say, well, we ain't going to get the guy on two, but I happened to just perfectly step on the bag. But anyway, they started a little city up there, and they had a shooting or whatever, and a guy got shot. And he was, he was, like, bleeding and going to die, and they called for an ambulance. Well, the ambulance couldn't get to him. Remember that story? Because you blocked your city off, and you're not letting cops and paramedics in. You're freaking holding guns out front, like semi-automatic weapons and crap. And then when the guy, I don't remember if he died or not. Good hit, Willie. Or if he got really bad. I know he eventually made it to the hospital, but it was really late. He either died or had, you know, bad injuries. And then they had the nerve to sue the medics that they didn't get there in time. It's like, how stupid are you people? You're the ones that put the walls up around it, and it got guns covering it. And you're gonna like, I, I just don't know. It's just beyond me how. Oh no! Oh, good move. They got me right there. All I did was L to L1 to lead off. I wonder why that stole. I didn't think you could steal by tapping L1. Maybe if you do it at the same time he does. Swing and a miss at 99 miles an hour. Bases empty, one away. Yeah, they had no Here's police the on. That's what I was talking about. Swing and a miss and that one they were stupid. Right but then they had the nerve to try to sue the, the, the city or whatever. But this lineup seems way too anxious, aggressive. Good, good pitch. Some high cheese. Man, I don't, I'm, I'm still trying to understand why Willie stole. I hit the leadoff button, and he went. I wonder if it... I wonder if you hit the leadoff button at the exact moment they're picking off. It, like, makes you run. You know what I mean? Like, a, like I shouldn't have done that. I don't like this pitcher, man. He's coming after me. Red's trying to end our win streak here. Piece and stays alive. Whoa, that was what one would call a wild pitch. Son of a pitch. There you go, Dorn. No, Davis makes Eric the Davis. grab on the run. Oh, let me see something real quick here. Ready now for the fifth oh, inning. Now batting Jamer Candelario. Candelario. Hang on. Thirty years old now. He joined the team as a free agent. Come on, Dorn. I mean, I said Dorn. Eddie, come on, Eddie. Smoked on the ground a second. Gets it to first, and the leadoff hitter retired in the fifth. So up next, Spencer Steer. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Lets the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. That one fouled off. This guy at the dish excels in two strike counts. Got to be careful with him out there on the mound. Ooh, you see that curve from Eddie? Nasty. Here's the catcher, Tyler Stevenson. And it's fouled away. Two down, nobody on. And we're at the top of the fifth. Towards first. He takes it himself to the bag. And oh, man, this is just like that last game, except for we had already scored our one run by now. So a new arm out of the bullpen for the Reds. Come on, Pedro. Come on, Pedro. Drop a bomb, baby. Drop a, it's a new pitch or two. We're going to take a pitch. Help us, Joe Boo. And Joe Boo, we trust. Whoa. Stands in now, looks at that one inside. And Joe Boo, we trust. Oh, he went upstairs. 
Come on, hit this one to the night sky. Come on, give it a ride. Oh, I did it again. Yeah, we got the Joe Boos working. I, I can't blame you guys this time. He's just going high on us. Okay. 2-2. Two, two. I'm going to have Joe Boo on the screen when we actually get into the season. There we go. There we go. Get out of here. I told you that you get, get Joe Boo working. All three of you did it, and look what happened. It's voodoo. We just tied it up. I told you all. Y'all wouldn't yeah, listen. Lives for big moments and right there made a statement big he time. said, he, the coach said, I told them that too. And you finally listened. Serrano dropping bombs. Dead ahead center field too. Boom. He tried to get away with a low fastball. That ain't going to work. That is not ever going to work. 421. That's our biggest home run right there, I believe. Next is we got the Joe Boo. The C majority's got it working now. She's she <laughs> she if she would have threw a tribe in at the end, then that would have been the ultimate. Foul ball there. But we can only These use Joe Boo for for, for Serrano. We can't overuse him though. You know, we gotta. It's, it's only for Serrano. We've seen it quite a bit today. It's been tough for him to make contact at times. Although, if you guys remember in the movie, I'll wait. Nobody's seen it except for majority. Jimmy's probably seen the movie, but back in like 1992, um, Eddie, the Christian, he uh, he had Joe Boo standing next to him when he was warming up. Remember that majority? Joe Boo was a little Joe Boo sitting next to him when he's warming up before the uh, the championship game, the playoff game. One out, bases empty, and a run in. Last half of inning number five. Oh, good pitch. I still like that part when, when Eddie comes out of the uh, the, uh, the bathroom there. And everybody's gone and he drinks Joe Boo's rum. He goes, up your butt, Joe Boo. <laughs> it's just so funny the way he says it. Ah. In the air, foul off first. Steer drifts towards it. Makes the grab and that's the end. And then he walks out of the dugout. Pedro. And you hear that jungle music playing like, ooh, like monkeys and stuff. And all of a sudden, like, the bat slips out of the batter's hand and hits Eddie in the back of the head. <laughs> Pedro went deep. Very nice. And welcome back to the ballpark. Top of the sixth inning. And ready to hit now for Cincinnati. Paul O'Neill. Uh oh. Swing and a ground ball to Bill. That's a base hit. So a runner aboard to start the inning. We can't stop Paul O'Neill. You can only hope to contain. Really nice game at the plate. Once you get the ball by the pitcher, there's a lot of base hits up the middle, even on ground balls. So nice job. Good pitch. We need to get a double play here. Swings through it for strike one. Whoa! Watch out! Watch out! That one fouled off. With two strikes, may see some movement over there at first base, trying to stay out of the ball. The string of the changeup. You're killing me, Smalls. That's another good one to watch, Natalie. The Sandlot. That's about kids that play play baseball, like just for fun, one one summer. And there he goes. Oh dang! Dang! Uh oh, they got a runner on three. Oh, and Eric Davis is up. Come on, Eddie. Come on, Eddie. Cool pin. We're going to get... Uh... Get there, Dorn. Boom, he's out. What a play by Dorn. Paul O'Neill not happy. Look at him. He's not happy at all. You were out. Go sit down. Just because you're a legend doesn't mean you get privileged. Thrown out at home plate. That's probably a bad jump by the base runner, but an excellent play on defense. Digging in, Will Benson. Swing and a miss as he. Eddie kind of hung that. Here's the pitch. It's a double steal. There's a ball. No throw. Double steal. I did not think they were going to do that. That's not. I was thinking what's happening. And a pitch. 
Swings through that one. All right, come on, Eddie. He's gone off speed. He needs to elevate here with two strikes out of the zone. Toronto's got it. All right. One to one. No runs on two hits, no errors. Oh, they almost got and us there. The the sixth, and there's a new pitcher on the mound, Graham Ashcraft. And we all know Ram, it up your Ashcraft. Cutter, slider, sinker. He don't even have a fastball. Just this cutter. Which means it's going to move a little bit. Come on, Reyna. Come on. Pitch the ball. Pitch the ball. See, everything's going to go outside. Right-hander kicks deals. Good pitch. That was a slider. I didn't know if that was going to be a cut or a slider, and I went high. One, two. Good pitch. What kind of Samsung did you get? Did you get like I, I still got my Note 10 Plus. I love that phone. If I get a new phone or when I get a new phone, it's going to be that new Google Pixel. Those take really good pictures and they work really well. Get through. Ah. Oh. Oh. Come on, Willie. I'm gonna get. I'm probably gonna go from a Samsung Note 10 Plus to the Google Pixel. Galaxy S20. I'm not sure I know what that one is. Hey, what kind of phones you got, Natalie? We were talking earlier. Majority of the differences between here and Italy and whatnot. Like she doesn't say brush her teeth. She says wash. Natalie said she had to go wash her teeth. I'm like, do you have toothbrushes? Or do you, like, take a wash rag? And... Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And a nice inning of work there as he sets him down. One, two, three. <laughs> that was a funny text. Um... What kind of phone you got, Natalie? Matt McClain. Well, with his speed, he could really make some things happen leading off. New pitcher on now. So no decision for Eddie. That one finds the zone. Do you have normal phones like everybody? Like, do you have like the Samsungs and the slice the other way and Motorola, Nokia's and crap and iPhone. I would assume you'd have an iPhone. You look like an iPhone kind of a girl. Oh, hold on. Samsung? Are you, you Android? Is Natalie an Android? Whoa, look at that. I'm impressed if so. You look like you look like an iPhone girl, though. You definitely look like an iPhone girl. Oh, he threw it with the glove. Did you see that? He, I caught it with the glove, and he tossed it up with his glove. Watch this. Whoop, whoop. Look at that. And then he barehanded it. There was one glove used between two men. He caught the glove, threw it with his glove, then he barehanded it. Oh, he's going to make that play right there. He's got to, he's got to, we got to get dirty on that. We got to get dirty. Yeah, we, we all like Androids now. So much better than iPhones. That was, that was hit hard. I'm really worried, guys. It's one to one with the Reds again. Like, I do not want to have another freaking 17 inning game. We're going into the bottom of the seventh. Two hits, no errors, and one man left. Look at Mid you, Natalie. So right. remaining in the game defensively, Matt McClain. Now he entered the game to pitch hit, and now man no, no, no. second base. So digging in, Bill Tomlinson. Come on, Tomlinson. As he turns on the rubber, and with that good live arm delivery. Oh, good pitch. We got Pedro coming up this inning now, guys. That's down and in. Pedro's up third, so if Tomlinson or Dorn can get on, 
comes that would be big time. So right there, just trying to Ooh, good pitch. So he doesn't have as much outside play coverage. Oh, good shot. Look at Tomlinson. There we go. We got all that one. We got all that one. Good shot. Good shot. All right, Dorn. Getting ready to hit. All right, Dorn. That one outs against the fence. No outs in second and third. This is it. Come on, Joe Boo. Help us, Joe Boo. We do not want to. I'm telling you, we don't want to go on extra with these guys because we've seen what happened. Oh! Boo! Boo! They walked him on purpose. Boo! They walked. Paid. We all got Joe Boo out. And they walked, and the bases are loaded now. They want a no piece of Pedro. That one ripped, but foul. Oh, we went over to Aloha Joe's on that. Don't be surprised to see them come home first. Come on, this is the guy that's trying to make the team that's actually impressing me. Yeah, the pitch. Tapped at the plate, but it's a foul ball. Yeah, they didn't want none of Pedro, understandably. Well, first base was open. I would have done the same thing, to be honest. I would have done the exact same thing. That's that's Mark McGuire, Frank Thomas, and first base is open. He's not seeing a pitch. Dude, if this this guy can, I have to tell you what, if he hits a grand slam right here, his team, he's made the team. It's over. Like he's already, he just, it's a sealed deal. Oh, he didn't know he struck out. Dang it! What the? His mouth said, "Pit like moving to the side of his head." All right, Rube. Rube is due. The intensity level has gone up a few notches for sure. Ah. Fall off foul. That misses the zone. Ball one. There we go. One run is in. And they hold the runner at third. Base is two to one. Here. Still only one goal. Such Look, great concentration. Yeah. Everybody on looking for a looking for a four game win streak. Rube ripped that. Good swing. And there he doesn't try to do too much. So base is loaded with one away. Derek Metcalf, the next to hit. Ooh. That one dropped. Run it out. Oh. Ah! Well, we got the one. That was a good play. That's Barry Larkin. Rube crushed the ball. And this is now a 2 1 ball game. He put it perfectly. We can't ask for a better hit than that. Back to the top of the eighth, and they'll go with a pinch hitter to start the inning. Ellie De La Cruz. And this is a big at bat in this ball game. And that one fouled off. Let's get Dalton working. The closer. He's been he's actually tired. He's been pitching in every single game. Which is amazing. Because if our closer is pitching, that means we're winning at the at the final innings. And that one hit to first. He takes it on his own. Leadoff man is out here in the eighth. That's why you hug the lines on the corners late in the ball game like this. Position perfectly. Edge of the zone for a strike. It's 0-1. Trying to hold a one-run lead. And we're in the top of the eighth. What do you mean no? He doesn't get the call. One and one. Swing and a miss. Chased it out of the zone. One ball. Two strikes. Aloha Joe's. Really great change of speeds. He goes. I wish I could off see him like hitting, hitting it and stuff. And <laughs> Messed him up. <laughs> Get out of here. See what happens with though, seriously though, like uh in, in baseball talk here. Pedro 
did so good with that home run and, and just hitting and power and his intimidation factor. When he got up and they had two runners on and first was open, they just said, no, we're not. you're not going to get a pitch. I mean, that's baseball. That's what you do, though. Because if you have first base open, you're figuring, like, it's worth us to give him first base and then to throw the ball to him and him potentially hit it out of, the, out of here again. Throw stops the lead runner at second, two on, and two out. One of the hardest things to do in the game, to stay mentally and physically ready for the big opportunity, and he came through for his club right there. In there the pitch. So if we can keep playing well, that'll happen more often. Like, you know what I mean? They'll, they'll do stuff where they're giving us bases because they're afraid. Maybe choke up on the bat a little bit, spread out those feet. Whatever it takes. And there's the inning. The ninth the inning. inning. Well, bottom of eighth, but Red they've screen. batted eight, so we're, we're looking good here. Why did everybody turn around? Now he's in a position he's not familiar with at all. Seems like a questionable move here. Well, one run game. And now the shortstop, Jose Reina. Now playing Oh, Reina killed it. And the leadoff man aboard. Good shot. Really good shot. Second baseman, Mike Larson. Now move to first. And he's back safely. And the first pitch misses for ball one. I would like some insurance runs here. With nobody out. Ground ball left side could be two. To second, there's one. Back to first, and that is a double play. And that's not how you get insurance runs. Five, four, three, double plays. Well, he's two for three. It's such an exciting play, and it's always a great reminder of baseball being such a team sport. And first offering is fouled off. Two down, nobody on. Here the bottom half of the eighth inning. Look at Willie. Having himself a game. Now he'll turn for second. Pulls in with a double. Third hit for him today. He was See, and they wanted me to move him, take him out and stuff. No. You shut your mouth. Even when you hit it that far out front, you still have to keep your hands tight to your body so you don't hook around that baseball and put it in foul territory. And that right there was perfect. Bill Tomlinson digs in now. One for three. Oh, Bill! Opposite field! Oh! That would have been it right there. That would have been a nail in the coffin. That would have been a nail in the coffin. Center field. Pulls it down and he makes the catch. That Bummer. is the inning. We go to the ninth. Here's the second baseman, Matt McClain. Here we go. Dalton. He is eight for eight on save opportunities. Boy, if we can get that kind of production out of um, Kenny Powers, we'll be sitting pretty. Because all too often, Kenny blows saves. Pitch misses. Now one and two. This one chopped up the middle. Now one There's one. In the ninth. Oh, such a confidence boost. We're about to go three and zero oh against the Cincinnati Red. That we can pull this out here. Oh, yo, where's everybody at? Where's everybody at? from there can really settle in. It's only it's two to one now. So we're not for run, the tying runs on first base. So but we by no means have won this. Trust me, we've all seen enough baseball to know this crap is not over. That was a little scary because he hung that. Settles underneath it. And there are two down. All right, their last batter. Are they gonna pinch it for him? What are they gonna do here? Reds down to their final out. He's 0 for 3. The next to hit for the Reds. That's off the mark, and that's ball one. Right now they're looking for something hit hard in. Whoa, Snack Shack attack. Oh, that's pretty good. I said Snack Shack attack. 
Here we go, high and inside heater. Give him the heater. This could end it. Got it. Four game win streak. Pitching and defense in this game. A lot of good execution, <laughs> and neither team really beat Pedro, I love the you guys. Love you. <laughs> but ultimately, it came down to one or two key plays. Big win. Difference for the win. And your final score here today two, two to one. For Chris I think Pedro gets player of the game. He got the game winning homer. Actually, that was game tying. That was a good play right there, too. That was a good play. Rube, yeah, Rube had to go ahead run right there. But Pedro had the game tying dong. We don't want to see the Reds turn to double plays. We want to see Pedro's homer. We ain't gonna get to see it. They had more hits than us though, eleven. Yeah, Pedro got player of the game though. He went one for two with a home run and a walk. RBI. Good stuff. Willie Mays Hayes, three for four and a double. This is his best game. That was his best game, I think. Or it might be tied for it, but nonetheless, he's finally coming around and hitting the ball. We get Willie on base, we win games. Whoa, what is this? She got an 85 down. Rob, Robin Roberts, 1965. Yo, back in my day, the baseball was made out of dirt. <laughs> That's all we had. You kids with your new fingered leather. Let's actually look at the standings here. Holy crap, we are tied for second. We are tied for second. We are 11 and 6. I didn't see this coming. I thought we were going to struggle. Like, I thought we'd be playing like 8 and 8 ball right now. You know what I mean? But we're 11 and 6. All the games are close, though. That's what I like. If we were blowing the teams out, then it's like, eh. We're winning 2 to 1, 3 to 2, 4 to 3. I mean, we got 8 saves or 9 saves now, right? With our. our Closer. Ooh, look at the Astros. 14 and 3. Jeez. They scored 132 runs. How many have we scored? 57. Well, see, yeah, look at that. So RS. See the RS? That's uh, for run scores. RA is runs against. We have 57 67. Think about that. 57 is the lowest number on the page. We've scored the least amount of runs on this entire page. But we're second. Because we've given up 67, which is the third, four, fourth lowest on the page. And really, here's the thing. It's better than that. It's just the freaking Diamondbacks when they scored 17 on us. That's what screwed up our runs against. We would be down in the low 50s. I mean, the Mariners are 89-50. That's where you want to be. So what's the, what's the calendar look like? Because this is the last time I'm going to be able to play this until next week, probably. Unless we play on Sunday, which I don't plan on it. We'll, we'll play something else on Sunday. We, we finished up the the creepy tale. So I don't know what we'll play Sunday. We'll do something. We'll figure something out. We are in a four-game. So look at the wins, okay? Six to five. Three to two. Two to one. Two to one. We haven't won a game in this four-game win streak. Now, hold on. Look at the entire month. Look at every yellow W. Look at this. Seriously. San Francisco, 5-4, to four, one run. Chicago Cubs, 4-3, to three, one run. Oakland, 7-5, two runs. Then one run, one run, one run, one run. We've only won by more than one run once, and it was two runs. So we're, like, right there. I mean, it's not like we're beating these teams hard. We're doing just enough to win. We could have potentially lost every one of those games. You know what I'm saying? Like, we could we could be, if we would have lost every game, 
Oh, it doesn't show the records on that. But if we would have lost instead of one, oh, we would be like five and like 12 or something. So now we're home to the LA Dodgers. They have a pretty good team. What, what are the Dodgers doing? Eight and 10. Not particularly good. And they've lost three. And that don't really mean much. Overcast. Shoop. Shoop's on the mound. Tanaka's back in. Dorn, Pedro. Jake. We actually have the normal. This is the normal lineup. I wish these would go away. We need to find out how to turn them off. All right, good night, Natalie. Have a good one. Yeah, I know it's late for you. I'll, uh, I'll see you again. If, if I'm able to jump on during the day Saturday, I will, but probably not. So I'll see you Sunday, Natalie. Unless, well, I'll talk to you in Discord, you know. It's the Los Angeles Dodgers and the Warriors. Indians. I want to have a game where I just crush someone. I want to hit, like, five or six home runs. And Serrano. People love Serrano. Who doesn't love Serrano? Here comes Freddie Freeman up to hit. And here it comes. And that one wrapped foul. Left hand batter waits. Swings through that. No ball. Two strikes. And that one hammered. Bad pitch. Way back there. And he bounced it off the top of the show sign. Uh-oh, losing Natalie was bad luck. Natalie, come back. <laughs> Baby, come back. The first batter of the game just hit it off the top of the freaking show advertisement. And oh, then they hugged. Well, you gotta love a game that brings some action from the jump, and at the plate, he was looking for a pitch to absolutely drive. Jeez, how far was that? 433. Just working the count, trying and he bounced it off the top of the show sign. That was actually damage. pretty cool. And now it's Gavin Don't want to see it again, not from them. That's in there. We're That's putting pressure on us here. Nobody on, nobody out with a run in, and we're just getting started here in the top of the first. And that's in the dirt. Come on, shoot. On the ground. And that's just foul. Yeah, geez. He almost did another Dead double right there. Another good hit. Uh oh. Out towards right center field. And out number one on the grab. But you guys get to see the stadium that's been created for this Cleveland Municipal. Pretty this impressive. This is a veteran-led lineup right here. A lot of players with plenty of experience singing. Yeah, no doubt about that, Boog. These guys have been around the, the game for a long time, and they may not have the flash that they once did, but... The stadium creator was pretty difficult. To yeah. different situations, be able to think Ooh. with the opponent and sometimes in front of the opponent. Like if, I, if they didn't already, if somebody hadn't already like spent this, they come to the ballpark, they hundreds of hours or whatever it was creating it, and me just doing a little bit of touch up on it, I still so wouldn't have it done yet, probably. And, makes the catch. and there's two down. Two outs, base is empty. And at the plate for the Dodgers, Mookie Betts. See the velocity. Dodgers are pretty good team. With that fastball. Ball Breaking ball. Ball. You guys seen that? That was Mike Piazza we just got out. Remember Mike Piazza? Mike Pizza? And a foul ball. I thought we had him. Two out spaces empty. It's a strikeout. All right. Yeah, we know he went deep. We understand. This solo home run. It's now one nothing. And now here's a speed threat. Outfielder Willie Hayes. We got every pitch in the book. The pitch. Slapped foul. Right down the middle. Out 
There you go, Willie. That's all he's there for. Get on base. No. Tanaka back in the lineup here. Now Ichiro Tanaka, right Good through the first strike. Here's the pitch. Oh, he's safe. That's in for a strike. On Piazza, he just stole on Piazza. That was close, but Stackcast. Max speed twenty point zero one. Seems to be on the safe side of these steal attempts, Chris. Yeah, you see that plus speed, and he needed every last bit of it to swipe that back. It's an 0 2 count, though. On the bases. Man at second. Good pitch. Come on, Tanaka. Come on, boy. All right, here's, here's, uh, here's Dorn. Dorn's been getting the hits. See if he can't get uh, get Willie around. Especially with how effective pitchers work up in the zone these days, that's a devastating combination. Foul ball there. Get in the outfield, he should be gone. It hit him when he swung. Look, they called him a strikeout. It hit his hands. All right, Pedro. Come on, Pedro. Oh, good pitch. Gotta let that go. Gotta let that go. And one in scoring position. Oh, and there's no Joe Boo. You guys are letting me down. Pedro is going to strike out. Joe Boo's not here. No Joe Boo. We're in trouble. It's deep in account, too. It's 0-2. Not looking good. Two outs. No, doesn't get the call. Yeah, the count one and two. Just missing off the plate there, according to the We should have just struck out. I think Joe Boo came in and saved that one real quick. Trying to get an explanation. Can't say he's convinced. Nope. A swing and a miss. Uh -uh. Retires the side. And that'll do it. <sighs> well, we got around the two and we didn't do crap. That's no good. Here comes Max Muncy. Deep drive down the Whoa. Jeez. The line of the pitch. Swing and a miss. Nice change up. I'm glad he couldn't hit the ball because that one he hit foul landed about a mile away. Charlie, and you can see why. It's not a looping slow curve. He throws it hard and it gets plenty of bite on the end. Strike two. The pitch started in and ended up on the outside edge. Just changing planes. All right, Shoop. Shoop stepping up here. Left-handed hitter to track. Chris Taylor now. Back-to-back -back strikeouts to start the frame, and that's now three in a row. Yeah, he's really settling in and getting a feel for his pitches. You know what? She was looking freaking fantastic, other than that one pitch that uh, landed off the uh, advertisement. Lifted in the air, Serrano under it, and puts the squeeze on that one, and that is that. Across here, this half. Back. Six mile an hour to the right, up a little bit. It's helping a little bit. I don't like this pitcher. He's pretty good. See, the, the Dodgers always have good pitchers. I, I can't remember a time where the Dodgers did not have at least one ace, like like legitimate ace. I had Oral Hershiser for all them years. Remember, I mean, I've had Kershaw recently all them years. And now it's the rookie D. You go back, and they just always seem to have a pitcher that can shut you the crap down. Swing and a miss. Going along. Wow. I'm getting out in front of myself now. I got to calm down. That slider didn't move to the very last moment. Incredibly difficult to pick. Oh. Just got to have to tip your cap on that pit. And he takes it himself for the out. Got it. Got it. Now it's the rookie first baseman, Derek Metcalf. Metcalf. 
in his ninth season, 30 years old now, and his last three oh, games oh. stand out. It looks like that was uh, about right there, and it did not go out there. Here comes the old one. Yeah. Late that time, and it's strike two. Oh, oh. Good pitch right strike. there. Tied him up on the hands. If I'm out there on the bump, I'm going right back in there. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. We'll probably quit after this game, guys. Swings and misses struck him out. We played two innings. It's one to nothing. Yeah, he's he looked like he about 18 years old too. He's shutting me down. The third inning and at the plate for the Dodgers, Andy Pothes. This one. Andy Pothead. And that's in there at the knees. Good old Andy Pothead here. Always got the munchies. Like a bag of Doritos out in the dugout. All right, Shoop. Oh, and Chew now. Ooh, gave it to me. He's got to be frustrated with that call. Gave me the outside corner. And I didn't really hit the outside corner, but I'll take it. Right through there for a There's so many that didn't go against me. That was only justice. That one to first, Metcalf. He handles it himself. First two batters retired here in the top of the third. So the lineup flips over. Freddie Freeman up to the dish. Hot shot to third. A home run this time, Freddie. And the Dodgers are set down in order. Oh, I mean, this, this is a pretty quick game going here, too. Will be the shortstop. We're already in the bottom of the third. Miller back to work. In the air right field. Ah! Wind was going that way, too. Fernando Valens. I don't know. I don't know what that is. Second baseman, Mike Larson. Larceny. He's on fire. And there's a foul ball. Yeah, I'll be glad when this pitcher leaves next inning because I don't. He's he's good. Check, check. You gotta check that. That is terrible, man. That pitch was three feet outside. I'm just like he's got me mixed up. It just happens sometimes. This pitcher's got me so off. Whatever I think's happening, he's doing the opposite. If I go low, he goes high. If I think it's a ball, it's a strike. I mean, just it, I can't win right now. To the right side, bats up with it to first, and that will end the inning. He'll be out next inning, though, because it's spring training. So that's a good Back thing. Back here with my pal Singy as we go to the top of the fourth, and at the plate for the Dodgers, Gavin Lux in there at the knees. Lurk, he's calling. I like this umpire. He's calling strikes. Oh. Nice try by Larson. He got a glove on it. Oh, what is what is this nonsense? Yeah, that's about right. Los Angeles, California. That's about right. Bunch of fruitcakes. Right there. Yeah, we've seen them for their true colors right there. Get there, Billy. Get there, Willie. Nice. Oh, that was Mike Piazza. Good job, Willie. Boy, Mike Piazza, he gave that one a ride, didn't he? Oh, and I threw a curveball, too. And foul ball. And now it's even up. One ball, one strike. And another ball. Two ball, one strike. Sharp grounder, that's the base hit. They get it in quickly. So first and second, now one out. Come on. He did it too. These guys are a bunch of freaking fruitcakes. Rolled softly, but that goes foul. He said, hey guys, I got a hit, look at me. We're in California, yay. Spot. No better way to get out of this inning. The O2. Ground ball to first could be two. 
Get him. There we go. There we go. Good double play. Good double play. That was really good double play. He kind of, he caught that like he was about to throw. Look at as he catches it. That's a good catch out in front of him. And then Reina said, "Zip, a little high." Oh, he was off the bag. No, he was safe. He was off the bag. And a pitch. That one fouled off. Come on, Tanaka. Well, these players, as this game goes on, have to be more disciplined at the play. The Dodgers are the team that let those, and those chases that are turning into a bunch of outs. Weird, like, people that the, the men and women who dress up like clown nuns and they speak out against Catholics and Christians, they let them come out there before the game. That was a big, big protest, man. That, nobody showed up for that game. It was like the lowest attendance in, like, Dodger history. And they all protested outside of the stadium last year. All the fans and stuff did. Forget what they call them, people. It's it's an anti-Christian thing. Oh, Don! Oh, no. I thought Dorn had a little poke. A little poke. Come on, Serrano. We need something. Come on, let's beat these fruits. Here's some real power at the plate. Come on, Serrano. Serrano struck out swinging his first time. That one not that close. Okay. It's one okay. Home he team needs down to run. Pitches for We're near the bottom of the fourth. Ah. Uh, 102. He still got 102. Dang it. I'm staying low and he's going high. I'm afraid if I go high, I can't get down low. And a one two. Oh, what a pitch. Dude, he freaking crushed that corner. I mean, he couldn't have like walked down there and handed it to the catcher any better than that. I'm glad he's out of there. It's fourth inning spring training. He's left. I am glad to see him go, man. We don't I'm glad that they're National League and we don't have to deal with them much. Uh, we may not even play them at all. Maybe once. Well, I ain't looking forward to that matchup because you know he made the team. Yeah, I'll be curious to see where we play. Because I added all the old stadiums in for everybody. Keeps the event going with a foul ball. Atlanta, old Atlanta. And Miami's got old Miami. You know, we're playing at old Cleveland, Cleveland Municipal. Uh, the Seattle Mariners are playing in the Kingdom. Uh-oh. Dude, if that would have been fair, that would have sucked. So it's going to be pretty cool seeing all these old stadiums as we play this season. Come on, Shoop. Here comes a pitch. Fight Jeez! Off, another. Seven fouls in a row. Such an impressive at bat we're seeing right here. Eight Dodgers straight Dodgers. foul balls. Not Ooh. even close there. And the count is two and two. Dude, he's fouled off like ten pitches. There we go. He didn't make it easy for him on the mound. But they still get the strikeout. Now it's the right fielder, Andy right Pothead. Andy Pothead. Straight back. Pothead. It is rookie season. Pothead. Runner takes off. And a pop up right side, foul territory. Metcalf pulls it in, and there's two away. Well, that was a pitch you got to crush. Unbelievable that he missed it right there. I'm telling you, he is going to be frustrated with himself until his next at bat. Dorn. Oh, Dorn with the jump. Number three. Dorn. Roger Jeter. One left for LA. Look at this. <laughs> oh, what a scoop by Metcalf. He hit the dirt. Thank God. He cannot be any worse. He cannot be any worse than what we were facing. 
That all that high heat sucked. Uh, yeah, 96, not 102, though. Big difference. Yeah, there we go. Let's get on the board here. No, man, you can foul off all day long. There's never been, that's never been the rule, Pony Boy. You can foul as, now if the catcher catches it, like if you foul tip it into his glove, that's an out after two strikes. But no, you can foul it off into the stands 85 straight times and your bat will keep going. Did they think Jake was stealing? Are you serious? They might have thought we had put a hit and run on. That's probably what it was, which we did not. That would suck for the hitters if that was the case. There we go, Rube. Oh, look at this. No. What type of infield sorcery was that? His feet was up in the air. Like, his feet was above his head at one point. That's some bull crap. Man, that should have been first and second no outs. Oh, good pitch. Good Lord. We've never seen that pitch before. Seen it twice now. Dude, his feet was higher up than his head was. That's okay. I, I like this pitcher a lot better. He, I can see these pitches at least. Just gotta, but I can't get used to him because he's going to be gone. That's what sucks about spring training. Now we'll see a different pitcher next inning. Really, really tough to get a pitcher and just understand him. Bring in Bush. And the docks. We dox him. The pitch. So they hit a home run on the first, I don't know if it was the first pitch of the game, it was the first batter of the game. That was a bomb. And now they haven't done a single thing since. And their starting pitcher was just lights out for us. Shoop's going pretty good into the sixth here. That's a sixth strikeout. If he gets a strikeout here, he's going to average over one strikeout an inning this game. Next offering is downstairs. Good. Got him. Oh, Shoop wasn't happy. He's there, and you could see him asking where it missed. Probably doesn't agree, but it appears he's ready to move on to the next pitch. One down, base is empty. <gasps> In the air, left side. That one gets down for a hit. I was If I dove and missed it, it would have been a triple to potentially home run in the park. So. Next up, the Dodgers catcher, Mike Piazza. Oh. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Lux leads off first with one away. Oh. And a breaking ball drops in for a strike. That's a great take right there. Even though it's a strike, with the situation runner on first base, you want to keep the ball off the ground. And you swing at that pitch, most likely you roll into a double play. Base runner with a one-way lead right there. All he's trying to do is get a look at the pitcher's move. Had no intent of stealing on that pitch. Got to be careful. This is Mike Piazza. One, two down. Handling <gasps> here as he fouls it away. Oh, ball boy almost made a play. And at first, one away. What a curveball, though. Fantastic curveball. Yeah, got him. Get out of here, Piazza. Pizza. Pizza, pizza. Shoop with seven strikeouts through five and a third here. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Right through there for a strike. I thought maybe he was going to step on that. Oh! Eight strikeouts. So we through six. One hit, one left. Eight, nine, one scheduled in the bottom of the six. Larson, Reyna, or Reyna Larson and Willie Mays Hayes. Back now for the bottom of the six. Emmett Sheehan. Ed Sheeran. Still a lot of game left, and this game could go either way, so... 
This is a big opportunity for him to get some important outs and try to help carry this lead. There you go, Reyna. Ah. Thought that might have a good half for us, but it didn't. You know what, Pony Boy? You might be thinking softball. That might be a case in softball. I feel like I've heard that rule in softball, but that's old white men with big beer bellies that are living like in their past. That's not real. Swing and a miss. Back in my day, man, I used to be able to hit the ball over the mountains over there. I'll tell you what, boy. That was something. There you go. Oh, right at him. Come on, Willie. Come on, Willie. That's the third, and it goes just foul. They're playing the bunt. I hate how they do that. that clips the oh, c come on. Dude, they're giving him anything he wants. That's never a strike for this umpire sucks. Uh, I wouldn't get those calls. I can't defend that big that much of the plate. I just can't do it. I ain't that good. I'll say it. I ain't that good. I ain't good enough to defend that entire plate like that. Logan Bush will take over here. Just trying to keep this one close here. And this is where a bullpen can give their players a chance to fight back into the game. And Hernandez is out. Now a move being made for a pinch hitter, Kike Hernandez. Looking to start something with one gone. First offering misses badly for ball one. You see the velocity, 97 with that fastball. The pitch. Got it. Good stuff from the bush. Next is the Dodger DH, Chris Taylor. That's a strike. Hey, he called. I'm going to strike on them. He gave it to me right there. He did give that one to me. I think that's why he swung at that. He knows I made it. Some players calling everything a strike. We got a change up on this cat. We got a circle. A circle change. The wind of the pitch. <laughs> Bush putting it down. Big Bush. Two hits? We got two hits? So remaining in the game defensively, Enrique Hernandez. He'll be out center now. Come on, Tanaka. We got two hits. Ichiro Tanaka. The pitch. Go! Come on, guys. We need some. We need some. Some. Something. Oh, Lord. We're getting eaten alive. Check. We can't stop the bleeding right now. That's a play. Or this is. Dorn. Okay, Pedro's up next. We got Joe Boo's going to have to give us something. Has Dorn got a hit? No, he's over two. I thought he might be one. Of, I know Willie's got a hit. Kicks and fires. Oh, we just missed it. We just missed that. Look at this guy with his bright green shoes on. Out of uniform, sir. Out of uniform. You're not special. You are not special. That should be a violation. I'm gonna report him to the league immediately. Thank you for calling a ball. I appreciate that. Here we go. That's right. There we go, guys. There we go. I like to see it. Come on. Come on, Pedro. That's a ball. There we go. That's 2-0. Now we might get a pitch to freaking crush. This might be the best pitch we're going to get right here. 2-0. 2-0 the count. 
There we go. We got it. We got just barely over it. Pedro hit it. That's a good hit, though. We just needed to get on base. That's only our third hit of the game. Absolutely hammered that baseball very loud coming off the bat. 107 was the exit velocity, and at that speed, it's going to be a great result. Come on, Jake. Jake could put us in the lead. Ain't that crazy? We could go from two hits to winning the game and just two batters. Here comes the 0-1. Right through there for a strike. Typically, the outfield defense will play a little bit deeper just to keep the ball in front, make sure that runner on first doesn't no, go all the way around the score and tie this ball. Come on, Jake. Give me a no-doubter. High heat. Sign. Oh. That number two pitch, man. That curveball. That's what we want again. Yeah, the right hander deals. Oh. And that one nope. is lifted in the air. And that right to him. It. Only three hits this entire game, man. We're just not doing well. And welcome back to the ballpark. And now the right fielder, Andy Pajas. Down the middle for a strike. And it's 0 and 1. Bush, 25 years old, and he was a second round pick in 2020. Serrano sizing this one up, squeezes it, and there's one down. Miguel Rojas steps to the plate for the Dodgers. That one finds the zone, and that's strike one. The shortstop takes the ball. One ball, one strike. And a pitch. Line drive. And that's a fair ball. What? Only a base hit. Good play by Pedro. Good play. He didn't let him. I thought for sure that he was going to get two out of that. That was a great hit. I can't believe that stayed fair. Uh, oh, I couldn't tell from that angle. That's great work right there. Oh, yeah. 100%. 100%. And that's in there at the knees this is our favor here, lefty versus lefty. No, that's oh, that's a beautiful pitch for a lefty to try to hit that. Kicks and deals. That one catches the zone, and the count is one and two. There you go, Bush. Strikes he goes. That's the second half. Pitch hitter coming on, Diego Cartaya. A runner on first with two gone. We're going to take a look at the pitch sequence of that at bat, and the thing to notice are the pitch locations. <gasps> we can't handle that again. Make a play, ball boy. There we go. As a hitter, that can be pretty frustrating because you don't expect the pitcher to be able to make that. Give him that circle here. Give him that circle. Those are tough spots to do damage in a great demonstration. We got him out in front. That's what we wanted to do. But. That time. At the belt and fire. There we go. This is it, guys. Bottom of the eighth. We don't get something here. We're going to go into the, uh, into the last inning. Losing. These are the spots where relievers really make a name for themselves. Late and close. We'll have to change it, Phil. There's a reason they're putting these situations. Activity in the bullpen. Evan Phillips. Last game, too. So. Oh, Rube. Throw on to Freeman, and that's one away as the leadoff man is out in the eighth. And here is Derek Metcalf. You know what? Metcalf's been quiet lately. He's due. We'll take it. <coughs> I was talking home run, but we'll take a base hit. At least our hits are like four now. That's admirable. It looks like we tried at least. We showed up. Staying up the middle with his approach. He didn't try to do too much with the pitch. Just shot it through the infield. Making the move at first, entering is the pinch runner, Craig Winters. So up next, Jose Reina. Winters out there now. First, and he's back. He's got plus speed, but in this situation, all eyes are going to be over there trying to keep his lead tight. Oh, I wanted second. I wanted second, but I couldn't see where the ball was. He did a good job of blocking it. Come on, Reina. I'm not going to steal, though. I'm going to keep giving him a good lead off, but I'm not going to steal. Right into the play. Oh! Oh! Could be extra bases. Makes 
to turn it second, heads for third. Headed for the plate. Tied it up. To tie it up. It's 1 1. Boom. Such great concentration. Raina killed it. That sounded good. Did you hear that? Look at it. They're on the field. Dorn's out there on the field, and so is Pedro. And there he doesn't try to do too much. I want to hear it again. Even the umpire, he's smiling. Look at him. He's like, yeah, I like that. Now it's the second baseman, Mike Larson. Check. First pitch misses. There we go. And another ball. He's getting a little frustrated out there on the mound. Getting hit Only on one out. Let's see if he can settle himself down. Just oh, 3 0. -oh. We're going to take a pitch here. Pitch. Why not? Willie Hayes waiting for a turn at the plate. I'll take a pitch. No matter what this is. There's a strike. Okay. Oh, ground rule double. Ground rule double. So hold on, does second go to third or second go to home? I think second goes to third. Look at that bounce over the wall. That's our first ground rule double. I don't roll into yeah, they said that's enough of this. We didn't score, though. Because the, the runner only event. Yeah, we did. Yes, we did. We just took the lead. My bad. Yeah, it didn't show the score. It's two to one, us. You know what? He's tired. I'm going I'm to. Dalton's getting the day off. If it was his real season, maybe not, but he will here. The old one. In the air, right field. Yeah. Pulls that one down. That's out number two. <laughs> I could have been safe there. What a, we came back and we put two up in the eighth here. Now a chance for Ichiro Tanaka. 0 for 3 with two strikeouts and a ground out. That one the other way. Oh! It stays fair. Coming home. And that rolls into the corner. He'll score three one. easily. It's 3 1. And into second easily with a two out double. Ha ha. In your face, fruitcakes. He really shot that one down the right field line and somehow found a way to keep it from slicing foul. Right over Freddy's glove. His head was down all the way through the pitch, and that's how you do it. So digging in, number 24. 0 for 3 with two flyouts and a strikeout. Oh, good pitch, good pitch, good pitch. No ball, let's strike. Up the middle, into the outfield. I'm going home. Runner from second cross. Scored again, 4 1. We have came alive. Once you get the ball by the pitcher, there's a lot of base hits up the middle, even on ground balls. So a nice job to use that big hole and get himself a hit. And next will be the cleanup. Pedro. Here. Pedro Serrano. One for three. Just end it right here, Pedro. Oh. Ah. Strike one. Oh, one. I can't believe I hit that. Well, I think I hit it. To me, he was trying to go deep right there. Yeah, I'm trying to go. I was power swinging the whole way, handle. too. Oh, and two now. Good pitch. And they'll do it again. I barely got out there to make contact. We're going to go out on like a five game win streak. This is crazy. And here it comes. Right side. Pajas on his way over. Balls it in to end the inning. Four to one. We put up four so runs in the, four in the eighth inning. Five hits, no errors, and one left. Through eight full, the Warriors with the lead, four to one. Didn't we come into this inning with two or three hits and we got eight? Hunter Fiducia. Well, last chance for him here. Hoping he could be a catalyst for some type of ninth inning comeback. So coming into the game now on defense, number 34. He takes over as the new first baseman. Ty Brown. 
Gets handed the rock out of the pen. And I can't imagine any save is an easy one. You're holding a small lead on the scoreboard, and you know those hitters are going to give you the best at bats they can. So it's always high scores. <coughs> Let's see what he's got here to try and close it out. Oh, that's a okay. nice job to get your first out of the ball game. Betts, that with one nice. down, takes a strike. No ball, one strike. Pitch misses there. Oh, he didn't Everyone give me that one, though. He gave me that one. Oh. Ground ball to the right side. Fair ball. And oh, crap. He gets by him. Makes the turn and heads for second. And yeah, he'll reach second with one. Ah, it ain't over yet. Just a simple oh, he does it too? Had eyes on it, man. Sometimes that's all you need to do. Just let the ball travel. Oh, no. Put the ball in play. It's all better of you, Mookie. It's all better of you. In now. Takes ball one off the plate. Line drive. And that's down. A base hit. Throw comes into third, and they're at the corners. Tying runs at the plate, guys. This is not good. Just a solid swing right there. Caught it out front and ripped it into the outfield for the base hit. Those always feel great. This is <gasps> deep, way back there. No! We are tied. Four to four? Are you kidding me? Well, there goes our five-game win streak. He only needed one swing to square it up. His that shoes are not regulation. Aggressive and it paid off. Should be confiscated. A breaking ball on the inside part of the play requires a hitter to stay really square with his mechanics. If you fly open with the front shoulder, there's no way you keep that. Ball. John Doxakis taking over on the mound. And now, Chris Taylor. Right through there for a strike. This is about to be the biggest heartbreaking loss if we don't pull this back out. We don't come back here. Oh, darn. This one could be extra bases. And he's into second base with one away as the go-ahead run. Man, he just absolutely turned on that one. Ripped it down the line. Nice job of staying in his mechanics. In the air to left center, Hayes sizes this one up, brings it in, two down. Good throw, Hayes. Good throw. Now it's the shortstop, Miguel Rojas. And that's in there for strike one. <gasps> it's up to Pedro. It's up to Pedro. Oh, he gunned it. Dude, he killed him. Pedro did that last extra in game two to send us the extras. Whoa! we'll push on with a tie ball game. Shoot. Staying in the game on defense, Hunter Fiducia. He takes over behind the plate. Fiducia. After entering the game as a pinch hitter. This is bottom of nine. It's not extra innings yet. A little bit low. We just got to go nine is all. It would have been over if we could have kept the lead. There you go, Jake. Let's end this. Let's end this. Everything came together for him. That was a ground ball, but it was absolutely hammered through the infield. That's not one you're excited to get in front of if you're an infielder. You know they used to say, charge it. Ooh. Come on, Rube. Walk off home run. We don't have that. Oh, I want to look at the trophies. Remind me again, but we don't have that trophy. That is one. Walk off home run's a trophy. We do not have that yet. Rube could give it to us right now in spring training. The pitch. That one way out. Two one. Two and one. Come on, Rube. Good pitch. I couldn't get up there in time. I couldn't make it. I was down here. I was trying to get up there and didn't work. First base, trying to stay out of the double play right here. Oh, run it out, run it out. He might actually have been safe. Two two down. There we go. Throw base hit. Lead runner around second. Throw comes in. Oh, we could have been safe, but I didn't know he was gonna make a bad throw. It's first and second with no outs, guys. A perfect example right there. That plate discipline, it pays off. The deeper he gets into Freeze. the count, 
the more comfortable he becomes, and he usually wins the battle. This guy's trying to make the team. Now it's the time to do it, Preeze. There you go. Bases are loaded. No outs. We better win this game. Here we go. It's Reynas. That's now three hits in a row for the offense. Pretty much a model swing on that one as he ripped it into the opposite. We had like three hits going into the eighth inning. This is crazy that we stepped up all this offense in two innings, eight and nine. Rain is one for three. We get anything here. Game is over. Oh, he's got to hit it deep. Oh, he's hit it deep and it's over. Game's over. Sacrifice. Pretty much not everything, but pretty much anything else. For a double play, or get yourself a pop up, something. But you got to make some pitches. But if he can battle, there it is. Base hit, that'll do it. The winning run crosses the plate, and the Indians win. Five four. That was a good win. Yeah, look at that. This that was that was worth celebrating right there. <laughs> we never seen it that a celebration like that before. You come into the ninth inning, it's a tied ball. That was game. awesome. No one really wants to play we hit four so straight four straight hits. We had four straight finish. singles. Well, they got the run they needed, put one up, and they put one in the wind. Dude, he's saying, look as soon as he hits it. He knew it. I was wondering why he was so slow. Because I noticed he wasn't running. I'm like, why is he not running? As soon as he hit the ball, he's like, yeah. That was nice. That was a good game. That was a really good game. Close one here today, and your final 5 4. For Chris 12 Lee, hits. We put up nine four. hits in the last two innings, guys. Beautiful win. That was a good way to end the stream right there, too. Yeah, look, that's the that's the freaking pretty much the first pitch of the ball game. We bounced it off the. <laughs> but they didn't do much after that, and they did a little bit there at the uh, top of the ninth. Rain is the player of the game, no doubt. He had a couple good hits. Just go with your filthy shoes. Pedro did a great job right there, too. Look at that. Look at that. Dude, he gunned him. If you get that throw meter perfect, it's a gun. But if you don't, not so much. He said, yeah. <laughs> yep, Jose Reina, two for four. Two RBIs. Dude, it looks like Gavin Stone is crying. L look at this guy over there. Look at him. Gavin Stone. Hey, oh. See, he's from Los Angeles, right? They're playing for the California. He's like, hold on. I thought it was just a participation game. I didn't know there was winners and losers. I'm from California. Yeah, yeah shut up. You lost, Gavin. Gavin. Gavin Stone. Yeah, in your face, Gavin. There's winners and losers in this game, and guess what? You're not a winner. You're a loser. Replay vault. I want to see that last hit. Uh, let's go back to the Indians, because I'm telling you, there we go. I'm telling you, like, I was wondering why he wasn't running. I just seen on the thing he wasn't running. Let's see what he does here. Let's put the... He's like, yeah, that's why. Yeah, look, he wasn't running. And then he started running right there. Yeah, and then I seen that part. Because I was watching the diamond, the little thing. I'm like, why is he not moving? I thought something was broke. That's pretty cool that they got that into the game, though. Look at that. Look how far they had the infield at. The infield's playing on the grass. And he... Reyna jumps higher than the shortstop, almost. Look, Mookie goes up. Reyna goes up. He's like, yeah. Game. Blouses. What a way to end the game. Beautiful. That was, that's my favorite game so far, right there. Four runs in the eighth. And then one in the ninth. We did everything we needed to do. To see what I mean? We're doing everything we need to do to get the win. 
but we're just once again a one run win. Look, one 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 one. We're on a five game win streak all by one run. We're gonna have a heart. Uh, we're gonna have one of those cardiac seasons where every freaking game is gonna go either way, and it's gonna. Like, if you leave the game in the eighth inning, then you're missing the entire game. You know what I mean? Because, the, like, the first eight innings are just warm-up. It's going to come down to that ninth inning every freaking game. So, this is going to be a fun season playing with these guys. It's because their attributes suck. <laughs> it's because most of them are, like, 50s and 60s. But that's what makes it fun. I feel like we played... No, we lost to the Dodgers 4-2 to two earlier, and we just beat the Dodgers... Five to four. Next up, uh, probably next week, maybe Sunday, it'll probably be next week, maybe next Monday, we got at Texas. But next week is when, the, I think the season starts on Thursday. So, um, that's probably when we'll start. We might do an opening night stream with our Indians here. So we might jump on, ne next Thursday would be... Uh, um, well, I'm going to have some clips, Pony Boy, of, from the movie. So, like, when Willie steals a base, I'll hit a button, and it'll show, like, the real Willie, you know, as he snipes running across the top of the screen and stealing. I'm going to have some of that stuff going on. Let me see the schedule real quick. Next Thursday is the 28th. I believe that's when everybody plays. I think that's when the full league is in, in swing there. So we'll probably start right around there. And then, of course, we got the Megalodons, which we're starting after Easter. We know we're going to give Easter off because you guys asked for that off. And then we'll do Sunday Megalodons on Super Mega Baseball 4. Well, the Texas Rangers are a great team. They just won the World Series. So that's not going to be a joke. And they've got Rafael Pal Palmiro on the team as a legend. And... Oh, let me advance day here. Can we look at the roster? Can we look at? Can we just look at their? Let's do this roster. Let me let me look at the Texas Rangers roster real quick. Yeah, Raphael. Oh yeah, Pudgy. So the Rangers have Raphael Palmiro at first, and Pudge as their catcher. And I think that's, you know what? I thought the Rangers was going to have more 90s, 80s. 90s. They just didn't have them in the game. Like, you know what I mean? Like, they just didn't have, like, Juan Gonzalez wasn't in the game. And there was a couple other really good Rangers that played in the 80s and 90s. Like, I was going to put Nolan Ryan on there, but it turns out, no, he was a Houston Astro all through the I mean, he was pretty much, like, look at the, ah, uh, it's a wrong one. If you look at the Houston Astros, Look, look, I put Nolan Ryan on the Astros because look at his car, look at his uh, card. Look at that. He te that's at the night, but look at this. Houston from 88, 87, 86, 85, 84, 83, 82, 81, 80. So, like, I had to put him on Houston because he was at Houston for eight years. And he was there for five. And then he went back to Houston again, but that don't count. That was just like, that don't count. But still... So the way I did this is you had to play for the 80s or 90s, and it's whichever team you were on for the most. I actually thought that was going to be Texas. But, nope, it was Houston. And really, if we were going 70s, look at the Angels. He played for the Angels to almost the entire 70s. Every year but one, he was an angel. His card is even an angel. So I, I had to put him on Houston. That's just where he belongs. That's where he played most of his days. And then they also got Craig Biggio. So they got Bagwell, Nolan Ryan, Craig Biggio, and Billy Wagner. That's a no-joke team. They just, that's what the game gave them. Three good 90s legends right there. And Chili Davis. But look how far down Chili Davis is. He's only a 74. What a weak legend. Ricky, Big Mac. And Dennis Eckersley, look at that. 99 overall, 99 overall, 97 overall. That's no joke. But they're not winning games. If we go to the standings, look at Oakland. They're 7-10. and 10. How do you not win games with Ricky Henderson, Big Mac, and Eckersley? 
I thought the athletics were going to be. I mean, this is still spring training. You know what? I should. We shouldn't really count it. Well, I mean, we don't. This is why they don't count it because they're, they're not keeping their pitchers in. You know, and they're replacing their players every inning after the fifth. So that's what it is. We really, uh, yeah, King Griffey Jr. Yeah, the Mariners going to have a good team. Well, that's why the Mar- Mariners number one. Look, look at this. Look, at Mariners twelve and five. They've got Griffey, Edgar Martinez, and Randy Johnson. Because Randy Johnson played with the Mariners all the 90s. He went to the Diamondbacks, but that wasn't until the 2000s. So I didn't even take that into account. And really, the Diamondbacks are a good team, and they only got one legend, Luis Gonzalez. That was the only one in the game. Now the Marlins, the Marlins got Dontrell Willis, Gary Sheffield. Sheffield was a great player. I actually really liked Sheffield. He was one of my favorite, one of my favorite players growing up. Hold on. Let's, I'm going over to, there he is. The Marlins got Gary Sheffield. Dontrell Willis and Mike Lowell. Those are some pretty good uh, legends there. Gary's a 99 overall. And they get the old Miami Stadium. Texas has an old stadium. Atlanta has an old stadium. The Manners play at the Kingdome old stadium. The Marlins have the old Miami Stadium with that big teal scoreboard out and left, which was cool. They shared it with it was it was Joe Robbie. They shared it with the Dolphins. And um, the Minnesota Twins got the old Metro Dome. So there were some good stadiums. The one stadium that's missing that I wish they had was old Detroit. Detroit was a cool stadium because it had the layers. Remember that? It had like ground level crowd and then like a really big second deck. And then it had a roof. But the roof only covered the crowd. And I remember, I think it was Mark McGuire. It was either Mark McGuire. It might have been Cecil Fielder because he was played their home. One of them was the only player to ever do it, and they hit it out of the stadium. They hit it over the roof. It might even have been Reggie Jackson. That's good trivia. You know what? If I, that's good trivia right there. Who hit it out of Detroit Tiger Stadium? I would. You know what? If I, if I was playing Who Wants to Be a Millionaire, and this was my final question, and I didn't have any friends or nothing to call, I would actually say Reggie Jackson. I feel like it was Reggie. Anyway, it all happened like one time. Goose, um, he's with, uh, I think, San Diego. Hold on. And, but they had to be in the game, too, Pony Boy. There's a lot of players that's not in this game. Like, the game had to already have him here. Oh, hold on. I'm in catchers. Oh, let me go to MLB. I think San Diego. And the Washington Nationals got the Expos players. They got Vladimir Guerrero, Pedro Martinez, and Gary Carter. I believe we're in San Diego. Yep, right there. Because if you look at his card, San Diego, San Diego, San Diego, San Diego. He he played there more than um, and, and well he tied with the. Here's the thing, here's the, that's a good call. He tied San Diego and the Yankees. Seventies don't count. That don't none of this counts. It has to be in the eighties. He tied with the Yankees there, but the Yankees already had four players. San Diego didn't. So it wouldn't have been fair to San Diego to not give them him and only give them two players. So, yeah. Because, see, they uh, they got Tony Gwynn, Gossage, and, and Trevor Hoffman. And Tony Gwynn's not even a 99. I figured he'd be a 99 overall. He's only a 96. So he, he tied with the Yankees there. Now, the Yankees had more legends than anybody, but I had to cut them down. I couldn't give them everybody or else they would have been an all-legends team and screw that. I made the rule. Don't forget... Oh, thank you, Majority. Thank you very much. Whoops. The the, the Giants didn't get many. The Giants only got two. Rob Nin and Rich Avilia. That's it. Because Barry Bonds won't give him his license else he would have been there. But that's fine. I hate the Giants. I can't stand them. My most hated team right there. So I'm actually glad they only had two players in the 80s and 90s that's on this game. Eddie Murray, Kyle Ripken Jr., Jim Palmer. That's a good team. 
Wade Boggs, Jim Rice. There we go. See, they got four players already. Derek Jeter, Andy Pettit, Mariano Rivera, and Don Mattingly. So they're not going to get Gossage, too. And Gossage, Gossage would be the least of those four right there, of the five, I guess. And San Diego needed him, so. Tampa Bay only got one, and that's really the only rule I broke was for Tampa. They didn't exist yet. But they had Evan Longoria on here as their legend, so I gave them to him, or else they would have got nobody. I didn't think that was very fair. So Evan was like the 2000s. He's the only one. See, he started in 2008. But it's like, you know, it's either you take him or you get nobody at all because you didn't exist yet. I don't want to be a douchebag to him. Parkman, Frank Tum, Harold Baines, Tim Raines. Baines and Raines. When it Baines, it rains. Or no, hold on. When it rains, it Baines. <laughs> and there's the good old... Yeah, and, and only Minnesota only got one also. Carew, that's it. Because Kirby Puckett and them guys aren't in the game. They don't they didn't have a single 80s or 90s legend for the twins. Not, not one. Carew finished up at the end of the eight right there. He was a 70s guy, finished up right there at the 80s. I was like, I was really surprised. I thought the twins because the twins was actually playing in the World Series there in the 80s, I think. But they didn't put any of the players in the game. So that's not my fault. I ain't got nothing to do with me. All right, we're going to check the trophies real quick, and then we're done. But good games, guys, good games. We are on a six-game win streak, and we're going up against the World Series champs, Texas Rangers. So it may be about the end. But it would be a fun run while it lasted. And then we're going to go the trophies. I always forget how to get there. There we go. Well, 43% done in spring training. That was what we got. And a single inning, steal second, third, and score with the same. Oh, that's a Willie Mays Hayes trophy. Willie's got to steal second, steal third, and then score. That, yeah, that one's going to take him. That's why that's a gold trophy. Maddox, using a single pitcher, win a complete game and under 100 pitches. Oh, we can do that. I think Vaughn can get that one. Win a game by 24 or more runs. Dude, it takes us six, seven games to score 24 runs. Good grief, Charlie Brown. With the bases loaded and nobody out, strike out three in a row without a run scoring to end any. Oh, so they have to they have to get bases loaded and we got to strike three batters out. That's going to be a tough trophy. Hit a home run and steal a base with the same player in one game. Oh, okay, we can do that. That we'll get that one. That won't be a problem. Have a runner score from first without the baseball leaving the field of play. Oh, we've done. Oh, yeah, we've got that trophy. Yeah, we pure speed. Yeah, we've got that one. I, I missed it. Okay, here we Yeah, there's a walk-off home run. We'll, we'll, we'll eventually get that one. We've got these. We've got all these. Okay. Make a diving catch for an out. You trying to tell me we haven't dove and caught the ball yet? Really? Oh, well, the ball's hit the ground and we made it out. Okay, I, I guess we haven't had an opportunity to. Get a strikeout with no energy remaining. Oh, that's a, see, that's a douchey trophy. You know what I mean? Like, why would I want my pitcher out there with nothing left? Why, why would I even want to do that? That's, that, we might have to play like a fake game for that one.
hit a home run over 460 feet. Oh, we can do well. They've done it to us a few times. We just haven't done it to them. And that's it. Yeah, those aren't too bad. We'll, we'll get those. I think the hardest one left, well, we won't really know until we do it, but because that could be the hardest one right there. But I think the 24 or more runs. Because it doesn't say score 24 more, win by. So that means if you scored 26 runs and they scored three, you don't get it. We may have to play a game, a fake game, put it on like rookie mode and just freaking home run derby tee off on them. You know what I'm saying? We'll go up there with like the legends team, like that team that's nothing but legend players. And we'll play like the freaking Kansas City Royals or something stupid. And we'll just tee off on them. All right, guys. Yep, I'm done too. Good night, Jimmy. Good night, Pony Boy. Majority, everybody. Thanks for watching. Uh, been fun. Good, good, uh, good wins. I mean, I'm. Uh, I won't say I'm surprised, but I really didn't expect to be able to pull off a six-game win streak here today. But you know, like I said, we're not killing them. Every single win is by one run. So <sighs> I know that those those games can go either way. We could have lost every one of those games. So. Glad they went the way. This should be a fun season. I think it'll be. I think this will be a fun season. Plus, we've got PGA Tour there. We got our, our John Daly Tour. We're going to be teeing it up with him some too as it gets uh, warmer in the next few weeks. And then, of course, we got Skull and Bones and everything. So we got we got plenty of games to play here. So, all right, guys. Good night. Have a good one. And I will see you guys again uh, probably on the member stream on Sunday. So I'll catch y'all later. I'll talk.